entirely live, possibly. No, oh, hey, we are. I got my own notification. Hold on. Let me make sure all my crap's muted. Yep. I think we're good. What's up, everybody? Rio, what are you doing? Get out of there. It's not for you. It's not for you, I'm sorry. I need to move this the chat thing around here. Hold on. Where is the chat box? There it is. We'll put it like over here. It might be hard to see since the white background, but I don't know if you guys can see all the birds all right. We need to turn the light on back here too. I think I like block the light or something. We switched, I switched uh, Lalo and Tupac around because Lalo seemed to be enjoying sitting next to me when I was setting up, so. Anyways. Wait for everybody to come in and then I'll explain what I'm doing. I say your last name wrong? How do you, the E is long? Like Bodhi? M. Bodhi. Is that right? Is it still dark, Petra? Oh, that's how you say it, Bodhi? Okay, cool. Sorry about that. in the background today. I'm going to move them up forward a little bit though. Hold on. I just don't want Lalo to fly into him on accident and piss him off, which is a possibility. Oh, hello. Should, um, what app am I using? Uh, it's, I don't know. It's some. It's a random one I found on Steam called Home Design 3D. All the other ones I looked into were like far too complicated for a simpleton like me to figure out. So, <laughs> but this seems to work decently for what we're doing. Let me make a post on um, Instagram and all that, and let everyone know what we're doing. Hold on. You want to be 
in the picture, buddy? Look, come here. Am I freaking you out? He's like, what are you doing? Look, come here. Step up. Come on. Let's get a picture of you in front of the... Look, flip around here. Let's get a picture of you. get a good one hold on I hear people oh god <laughs> this should they, they should do okay they're not the best photos but they'll do they'll get the point across Oh, jeez. Okay, that's Instagram, and Beatrix, who are you talking to? Tomorrow's going to be warm enough, thankfully, for, to let her outside, so. Hey! For some reason, if I stomp my feet, she'll stop. <laughs> um, temporarily, at least. <laughs> I'm trying to post on Facebook real quick. Oh my goodness, why is this so slow? Oh, there it goes. Uh, I gotta get the link for this video. Where is it? There we go. Alright, post in the link with the photo. Thankfully, I can leave my headset off for this. Rhea! Oh, never mind. I was gonna tell her to come sit here. You're stealing her spot. She comes. Come here, Rhea. Can you sit next to Lalo and be good? No, no don't. It's back in my face. Oh yeah, come here. Look, come here. Up, oh, come on, up, oh. up. Oh. Cooperate. There you go. Look, sit right here with Lalo. Oh, okay. Don't fight him. Jeez. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let them do their thing. Yesterday, they were both sitting here uh, together with no issues. So I wanted to see if they would do it again. Okay, I think everything's posted now. Maria's eating blueberries down here. Beatrix! What are you doing? Ow, Lalo, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's always pulling my hair sometimes.
Okay. I wish it was warm enough just to let Beatrix outside right now. When is it? What is the temperature? Alright, it's 48. That's too cold. Tomorrow's gonna be 66, though, and the following day, 72. So that's good, at least. Hopefully it'll start warming up soon so she can go outside again. Hey! sure she's got I just gave her food like an hour ago but let me make sure People sent chats. Hold on. I'll check them in a second. I might have to cut up some papaya in a little bit for uh, for the birds because I forgot to wash all the tools last night, or I just forgot to start the dishwasher last night, so I didn't get to do it at my usual time, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Let's read let's read some of the chats here. M Bodhi sent a hundred dollars. Good lord. Thank you so much. We're starting the day off crazy how do birds of paradise talk they use two cans in a string <laughs> that's funny i haven't that's actually one i haven't heard i've heard two can play at that game and all that kind of stuff about a million times but thank you so much and i said your name right this time petra saying thank you for the birthday love did you donate to my phone raiser fundraiser excuse me did i donate um, to what fundraiser are you talking about? Toucan Castle is looking lit. This is just one of the designs that I've made so far. We're going to do a new design today, though. Beatrix really, she needs a mate. I don't know what to do about her in the meantime. She does that even with them back there with her, so. And she does it when I'm back there, too. So, I don't know, you know, she she calls, and then if I actually, if I go and try to interact with her, she tries to kill me, so I don't know what she wants, you know. I think she ultimately needs a mate in a large enclosure outside, which is why we're trying to design this right now. So we can move and get her in a big enclosure outside with her own uh, mate, you know, another keel bill that's like her, and uh, they can live happily ever after. Beatrix! I don't notice it as much if I'm not streaming. She does this like all day. Even if I go back there and stand back there with her, she'll start doing it again. So, I don't know. She must just be a horny bird or something. She wants, she wants a mate. Rhea, don't piss Tupac off, please. She had plenty of food, so I don't know what she wants. It's not that. It has nothing to do with that kind of stuff. It's just... She needs... I think she needs a boyfriend. And a big enclosure outside where she can make as much noise as she wants.
Okay. Alright, we should get started now, probably. Okay, I'll show you guys what, um... No, okay, well, then you flew off again. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to turn the light on back here. Okay. Um... Which toucan is upset? It's Beatrix. She's the wild one. Okay. I think we have... Uh, this lighting's better now. So I think we'll get started. Okay. So basically what we're wanting to do is uh let me, where do i even begin i'm trying to explain okay so there are these structures called barn dominiums which are basically like big steel pole barns that people turn into oh my goodness ria's got my wallet <laughs> Rhea! Dumping all my cards on the ground. Stop that. She, uh, <laughs> she dumped all my credit cards and stuff in the sink. <laughs> what is wrong with you? We're trying to, we're trying to do something that's going to benefit you. Okay, can you behave? Can you behave? You want a blueberry? Look, come back up here and you can have it. Okay. Did you just drop that on the ground? They're all su super playful. This is one of the bad things about having multiple toucans out at once. Because earlier, Lalo got out when I was feeding them. And I just kind of let him stay out while I was setting up all this. And then, uh, so it was just Lalo out for a while. Well, Tupac is out, but he was just chilling on the couch. And Lalo just came and sat on the perch right here and just sat there and watched me for a good half hour. And then I let Rhea out and all chaos breaks out, so. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we're going to try to build everything... In the style of a barn dominium, which is a basically a steel, like a metal pole barn, converted into a house. And they're pretty popular in Texas, and conveniently, Texas is also the cheapest place to make them. And they're generally cheaper to build than a traditional house. So we've been looking for, we were supposed to move last year, but COVID kind of ruined everything. But, um... So I can't really find, I couldn't find anything. I did find one house last year that was suitable for us, but unfortunately, again, because of COVID, we couldn't get it. And I've been looking, because now that we can file our taxes for 2020, um, we, can, we can actually move. So it's just a matter of doing that and then finding, well, I was looking for a place, but I mean, it's, we need something very specific to help i mean i mean the house is for the birds mo mainly 
you know, I don't really need all that much, but we need some space to accommodate them. And especially like Beatrix, for instance, uh, needs a large enclosure outside and probably we need part of it inside as well, just in case the weather gets either too hot or too cold or there's extreme weather like a tornado or rainstorm or wind, high winds, that kind of stuff. So I've been uh, trying to think of a good way to incorporate everything into one thing, and we need we need basically like a uh, like Rhea and Lalo and Tupac can be in smaller enclosures, and because they mainly just sleep in there, and then we have an aviary that's like a courtyard basically where they can go out to, into here. So um, I've been considering doing like a, uh, a courtyard type aviary for them. Any bird that's like domestic or tame, whatever, you know, like these guys. I mean, they're, they're crazy, but they're friendly to me. Beatrix is not friendly to me. She doesn't like people and she's generally just, she makes the other birds nervous because they don't behave entirely like she does because they're not, you know, wild like she is, so, but, uh, anyways, so, she needs, she needs something where she can have another wild bird to hang out with, and they can enjoy being two cans together with, you know, minimal human interaction, um, but for the other birds, like Lalo and Rhea, uh, we can have a common place for them to go into because they're not, you know, they can stay out there during the day, but they don't need as much because they'll be out like in the living room and all that kind of stuff like they are now, but you, know, you guys get the idea. So anyways, uh, my thought is to make it all in one big pole barn or, or something along that line where there's a living space and uh, in addition to the living space, there's also, uh, you know, a big shop area, basically, that's partially indoors and partially outdoors with uh, two 12 by 24 enclosures, or basically 24 by 24, with it split in the middle indoors and outdoors. Uh, so 24 by 24 foot enclosures separated by a wall, half of it's outside. The other half is inside, and then there's a door that they can they can go in and out during the day, you know. So, uh, and then if the weather's bad or it's too hot or whatever, like I said, they just stay inside a 12 by 24 that's all inside. And so, since the structure is all steel and concrete, it's also a lot more durable to severe weather like tornadoes and stuff like that which is another worry, you know, living in this part of the country. So, um, but anyways, we can actually look at this in 3D. So this is basically, I'm just trying to get a general idea and structure layout that I've, I've we found a, some, a contractor and someone to design actual floor plans and all that kind of stuff for the contractor. And so I've been collecting just like uh, inspiration and reference images of other homes and other aviaries and stuff like that. And then um, in addition to that, we are going to present him the design that we make today or, you know, whatever we decide on finally to give the, I got sleep in my eyes to give the just general structural layout. Like, he'll obviously refine most of it to make it more, make more sense. But, you know, it kind of cuts down the time it would take for him to just, for me to tell him what I want and then, you know, go back and forth designing it, back and forth, back and forth. It saves time and money, basically, for me to come up with a layout and then give him that layout to go off of rather than just playing a guessing game with him. So uh, this first one that I designed here is basically two structures. This this would be the house structure 
And then attached would be like a, a prefab shop, like a pole barn shop. That, you know, you guys have seen those big steel shops, right? I'm sure. So, so this side of the house would all be birds. Like, then there's smaller enclosures here for like Rhea and Lalo, and there's extra ones just in case whatever happens in the future. And then I have two of the enclosures I was talking about for Beatrix and Mate. Two of them, in case, you know, in the future we have, uh, you know, we have other birds like Beatrix that just aren't suitable to be pets or whatever. Because the thing, I mean, you're listening to this right now. This does not stop all day. So, uh, the thing about these keel build toucans like Beatrix, Beatrix is a wild bird. She is not... She was likely not captive bred, very likely. She was probably smuggled here illegally from the wild and, and purchased by someone that had no idea what they were getting themselves into. She, she was, before she came to me, she was staying in a, like, like a guinea pig enclosure, like this big, you know, like very, very small. Like my monitor is probably bigger than her enclosure was. I mean, in length and width. That's what she was living in, in some teenager's bedroom. So, and her parents hated this and made her get rid of it, which is, and she moved off to college and like left the Keel Bill Beatrix at her parents' house and expected her parents to take care of her and I'm sure she was doing this the entire time. And she's not a friendly bird. She doesn't like people. So they're very, they're almost like different birds compared to, uh, you know, like all the other birds we have here, like Rhea and Lalo and all them. Like they're fairly, they don't make a whole lot of noise. I mean, they're noisy when they do make noise, but, and also they don't try to kill me and they're not wild and they don't get, scared and uncomfortable and stressed out when they're in a house. So, um, anyways, my point is there's a lot of birds like Beatrix that need help and hopefully we can have a place where, um, you know, they can all live amongst themselves and be happy and not have to worry about living in a home environment, which is not where they should be. So, as you can hear. Because right now, if I let... I need to make a video that just explains all this to people about Beatrix. Uh, which I've been meaning to do, but I was waiting to have it warm up outside so I can have her outside when we talk. But, um... Beatrix! And I can't even hear myself think. Um... What was I saying? My point is there's a lot of birds like this and even people who, like I have friends that I know that I would trust to have a toucan that also like are keepers like me that have social media and Instagram and all that stuff where they take care of animals and a lot of the animals they take in are rehomes and that kind of thing. And they love to take in a rehome toucan and I've tried to like, I've tried to uh, send them potential toucans to adopt and they're always birds like Beatrix and even you know they refuse they don't want a bird like her they want someone or they want a bird that's friendly like them so it makes me really sad because most of them are just rejected and forgotten and, and end up dying or whatever else because um, you know I mean understandably people don't want to have a wild animal that's noisy like this living in their homes so you know anyways let's continue on so we'll, we can actually like this was the first I played with a few different ideas and we're gonna design an entirely new one today as well and I'll take all your suggestions and stuff but um, here we can actually look at it from the outside and then go inside like we're touring it so and pretend this is a window, but I didn't have the option to have like a, a 
a mesh, like a metal mesh that would be there in place. So just pretend that this window here is actually just like a, a mesh, like enclosure. And pretend that this is a mesh on top too. But, you know, I had to use what I got in the program and, you know, and funny enough, they don't have stuff to build uh, enclosures for zoo animals, so. <laughs> but anyways. So we have like, uh, you know, living space here. And it's mostly fairly similar to what we have now, except for there's a loft up here. And I just really like the idea of having a loft because it gives some vertical space for them to fly up and down. You know, they can land up on the rails and fly down to the couch. And if they, if they feel uncomfortable or they want to get up high and feel more safe, they can sit up there and feel a little more safe. So, and then we'll probably have like these cabinets and stuff recessed into the wall so that they can't go sit on top of the cabinets like they do here. Because right now I have a bunch of crap up on top of the shelves, I'm sure you guys have noticed before in the videos, to try to prevent them from sitting up there and pooping and all that kind of stuff up there, because it's just not very sanitary. So... And we would have like the, you know, computer and all that kind of stuff up here. And then probably what I would do is run wires through the walls so that I can stream from the computer up here and then have like a camera mounted down here for when we do the live streams. And then when we do the live streams, maybe we can actually have Beatrix like out here so you guys can kind of see her in the background. You know, so, or something along that line. I'm just kind of, I've just been kind of playing with the ideas there. So, but we'll go down here and then I just put a generic bedroom back here. This will be my room, essentially. And then we have a bathroom. And then we have, like, a laundry room. I mean, just the normal house stuff. There's not a lot. It's one one bed, one bath. And the majority of the money uh, spent on the house would be going into enclosures for the birds. Because, like, I mean, it's just me. I don't need much. I need my computer, my guitars and a place to sleep and I'm happy so <laughs> and a place to you know sit and hang out and some booze and put some booze up there <laughs> but that's all I need to be happy you know so this would probably be I mean the majority of the house would probably look something like this again just pretend that these are enclosures we'll just pretend these windows are uh, you know a, a zoom mesh or something like that instead of uh, windows with giant spaces. But, like, we'd have these enclosures that would be, like, for uh, Lalo and Rhea. And then uh, Tupac doesn't need an enclosure. He would just sleep in my room still. And we have extra stuff here, just in case. You know, you never know. We never know what's going to pop up in the future. There might be a bird that needs some kind of help so I want to have some extra space just in case something happens and I think probably the end goal in the future would be to foster a lot of the birds and try to find them suitable homes with people who are competent and then because um, you know it's not I, I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to handle on my own I think the best idea would probably be to have some be rehabilitated and fostered and then uh, found new permanent homes, you know. And I wouldn't sell them or anything. I would just give them to whoever I thought would take good care of them. But in the meantime, we would need space to let the birds live. So, so like, for instance, this would be like Beatrix's enclosure. Beatrix and her boyfriend. We'll get her a boyfriend at some point when we move. But they're just, I mean, just picture there's perches and stuff everywhere. <laughs> and food and, you know, there'll be drains in the floor so I can just come in and power wash and spray everything down the drain. Make cleaning way easier. Um, and then I don't know what to do about the doors. I just put a generic door here for now. But what will probably end up happening is that we have some sort of big door that slides open. So that most of the space is, there's a big hole here, you know, and then they can just fly in and outside as they please during the warm months of the year. And then we have the outside here planted 
with uh, foliage that's you know natural to Costa Rica and South America and all that. You know, most of the ground would be covered in vegetation, and then we'd have perches up higher like normal, and trees and just stuff to make them a little you know make everything a little more enriching to or and make the enrichment better and um, make them feel a little more safe and secure with the plants around. Like, cause Beatrix, she has a wild instinct in her head still. So she probably, she sees me as a predator and I don't want her to feel uh, unsafe and, and birds like her. So we would we'd plant uh, the enclosure to just make it feel more like home. So, and then inside here would be the safe zone. So, and then we'll, we'll probably, I think what I might do is put like a window at the top or something or windows around. There'll probably be windows in here some, or to some degree to allow natural light in. And this room might be bigger or smaller. This is just kind of a general idea of what I have in mind because I didn't rebuild this area for the other iterations of the houses that I made. And I just assume that, you know, we would either add something like this to it or build it. Because right now these are two separate buildings in this build. And I, I think it would be cheaper to just make it one big building instead. So, um, and then this would be like, I mean, there would be a door. Like a glass door or something here. And this would be like a courtyard where Rhea and Lalo and Tupac can hang out during the day. And I can keep an eye on them easily you know, from in here, and see them, so, and then back here, if Beatrix is living back here, wh whoever's living back here, I'll probably have, like, I'll set up a, a camera up in here somewhere, so that way, when we stream, uh, either we can have, like, a 24-hour live stream of, uh, Beatrix, and, uh, whoever, her boyfriend is in the future and you guys can see her whenever you want and then um, especially like if we have uh, more birds when we move and we have more supporters that support those specific birds I want them to be able to see them more often so uh, you know right now it's just I know everyone wants to see Beatrix and everybody and it's, it's kind of, it's not ideal where we are now, but, you know, we've been planning to do this whole thing, and I think we can build it right and make it to where it's not only great for the birds and me, but also great for you guys, because you guys can, you see more of us more often. So, and it makes everything easier for me to clean. <laughs> that's a great, that's going to give me way more time to stream and do videos if I'm not cleaning and, you know, I spend like a couple hours a day cleaning the cages and feeding them and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, uh, this is the first. She needs a calmer toucan boyfriend. <laughs> Can you spay a toucan? No, you can't do. I mean, I'm sure you could if you tried hard enough, but. No, I don't, you don't spay. They're not going to breed if we don't. The thing about toucans is that uh, they're difficult to breed. So even if she did have a boyfriend, I'd have to introduce some very specific, uh, like, things into the environment to encourage them to reproduce, if that makes sense. So if they're just, if there's not a nesting log and they don't have all that kind of stuff, to promote breeding, they're not going to breed because they're very, they're picky about breeding even when you're trying to breed them. <laughs> so, anyways. Will all the windows be double pane? I don't, you know, I don't know uh, the, I don't know the details about the windows. That's why that's why the contractor and floor plan plan planel, planner are there. They'll they'll figure that stuff out. I'm just trying to get the general design layout 
and I, I'm just trying to present an idea for what I want to the contractor and the floor planner because basically like you know I'm going I, I'm calling the guy and I'm like look I'm I do this I have a toucan rescue and I'm trying to build a toucan sanctuary slash house there's not exactly like a uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for it's not a cookie cutter idea <laughs> it's not like you can just google up okay toucan sanctuary ideas floor plans go now you know like I'm trying to and also I'm trying to save money because we still don't we don't make a lot of money still so uh, you know I don't want to get too crazy with the uh, uh, design because I don't you know I can't afford a, a freaking mansion unfortunately so that's why I don't know why that's all the way over there that's why the majority of the design is just birds instead of you know a, a nice looking house I mean it's not bad but I'm trying like the, I mean basically everything I have in the house portion is as like basic as possible there's like concrete floors and white walls and just as minimalistic as possible so anyways Lawa what are you doing buddy biting at my guitar over there Rhea you want to come back up here uh, anyways okay let's go on to the next design do you guys have any well let's let me read the comments first here I want to see what you guys have or have said about everything and what ideas you have. We're not gonna we're not gonna neuter any of the birds. None of the birds are getting neutered. I don't know what kind of issues that would introduce, but that's just not. We're not gonna do that. If I wanted to, yeah, well, so someone asked if I wanted to expand it, how would I do that? So, like, basically, my idea with this was, like, if I want to expand, like, we want to get, like, an acre or so of property. So, I want to make it to where, like, we have something along this line for now. But, if we need to expand, it's easy to just add on another portion of pole barn to expand it you know to make it longer so there'll be enough room to expand everything and back and by the way guys I, I gave Tupac has a bowl of blueberries back there so uh, oh I missed a comment from somebody Jennifer Reynolds says, are you concerned about the birds flying into the glass or are they smart enough not to do that? I've never seen them fly into glass before. I mean, you know, like zoos have glass enclosures for their birds. So I'll figure out what kind of glass to use for that sort of thing. And again, this stuff isn't finalized on anything. It's just a general idea and layout. But regardless, excuse me. This, this wouldn't be glass back here at all. This would all be mesh. There would be no glass in Beatrix's enclosure back here. The only place they would have glass is the little courtyard area. But there's glass in the house right now. I mean, you know, I have windows open and stuff. And it's not like they just fly into the window. But that's a good question. I'll have to figure out what they use at zoos because I know they have something they have some sort of glass that makes it where the birds can identify it more like as a solid object more easily because uh, they have some kind of ultraviolet coating or something like that Jeff Brandon says great work thank you Jeff uh, Firefly Chick 1984 says some love for Tupac. Tupac, we'll give him a, we'll reach back there and give him a blueberry. But he has a whole, he has a whole bowl full of blueberries back there. 
Oh, Rhea. I'm sorry, Rhea. Rhea got excited for a second. Here you go. Lala, why are you sitting down here, buddy? You want to come up here? Come sit up here. You can come sit over here with me. No, never mind. Okay, let's go to the next design. this one this one I just I, uh, I made it a little bit different because I was just playing with ideas hold on oh wait what was I doing here oh Ariel here we go so this one I just I made like a, a C shape or like a U shape and then we'd have like the courtyard right here and then back on this side would be where all the enclosures you just saw are and then there would be a door like in the hall right here. But I don't know if I like this design as much. And I think it might be more expensive to do. But we can we can look around in it anyway. So this would be like the outside. And then it would just be like a U. Uh, the TV's really exaggerated. <laughs> this would—I don't know why I put a, a ceiling right here, but this would be open, and it would be a loft just like the other one. But same thing. I didn't put anything up here because it's just like, you know, I, I mean, I—I I don't need to go around putting objects in here to know what it's there for. So, but I did put a couch down here just to get a rough idea of. Um, scale so but I don't know if I like this idea as much uh, hallway the hallway is really skinny so I mean there would be like a door over here the hallway would probably be wider in the final product if I went with a design like this but but same concept you know there's like a courtyard and a loft um, and then, of course, space for me to sleep and live in. And then, uh, imagine the the just the the structure. Oh God. Okay, I think they're all right. There we go. Just chasing Lalo off. Just pretend that the structure with all those enclosures, like basically the same thing I showed you earlier, is right here. Like so, this would be a completely enclosed courtyard with the with the um, bird housing right here. If that makes sense, I just didn't build it because I already had not kind of an idea of what I wanted there. And basically, I just have to be like, okay, put a forty by or a thirty by uh, fifty steel building right here. To the people so anyways I don't know what do you guys think of this I could add another C shape and into a donut a big circle house what is what I have what is skill would it have a skylight to help heat the area? I'm not sure. The skylight and the birds building, or my concern with the open ceiling is your ability to fetch a bird from a high place that's injured or stuck. Are you willing to climb a 20 foot ladder and carry the bird down it again? I'm not sure what you mean because I don't know where they would be stuck. Where would they be stuck in the loft? Because it's all just smooth 
wall. And then the loft is here. The only place they could possibly get stuck would be on the railing right here. And I just have to go up to the railing and that's it, or up the stairs up here to the loft. I don't really understand why that would be an issue. Skylights in the birds area. Yeah, we. I mean, I'd probably put one there, but windows also. Uh, windows also let heating and and all that kind of, or heat out, and it's more expensive to cool. In that case. So. But there would probably be a skylight there still though, but I don't know. I'll have to ask. Hey guys. I have to ask the um, architect, no, the floor planner. He's gonna know more about that kind of stuff and, and be able to design that stuff better or place windows where they need to be and, you know. This is just a general, this is a very broad general thing to give to the guy. He's gonna figure that kind of stuff out and say, hey, we need to modify this because this would be better if, you know, it'd be easier to cool if we did this or, you know, that kind of thing. So I just want to streamline the design process for them so it doesn't cost as much money <laughs> to do everything. And also it gives them an idea of what, it, what we want, so. Skylights are a pain. I thought the idea was to put in hanging perches from the ceiling and use the space. Um, probably and probably not if we had that railing up there. Not high, high. Like I wouldn't put perches all the way up to the ceiling if I put perches on the wall they would be more like you know at the six foot kind of range if that makes sense with that whole with the railing up for the for the loft I mean that eliminates a lot of need for perches because they can just fly up to the railing and sit there but we probably still have some down lower like near the couch and stuff if that makes sense but we, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it like way up high where I can't reach it but the, the idea for the loft is like it say it, like it saves some space because there's just you know there's extra space up here for a computer or whatever else we don't have to have another room and then um, And then they can sit up here safely. They can sit up high safely. I can still get to them. They can they can overlook and feel safe and high above everybody else if they feel scared. Like if you have if I have company over or or if there's a new bird or I don't know like something is down here that's freaking them out, or maybe they just want to get away from my dumbass. They can fly up here and sit and sit up high. And feel safe, you know? And there's some vertical action there for the for their flying skills. They can f learn how to fly vertically a little bit better. So, just overall, there's more f space for flying as compared to, like, in here. That's just, you know, they can fly up and down the hallway and over to here. But they can't fly up and down and around and, you know that kind of thing so where's the jacuzzi I'm not gonna get a jacuzzi the, the goal is to try to be cheap as possible I kind of like design one better, but uh, we're gonna design another one here in a second. I'm just I'm just showing you guys what I have so far. 
here's the here's the next one. This is the last one, and then we can try to design something new ourselves. Oh, we'll make it three. So my idea with this is just have one long rectangle house, basically. And then there would be a hall right here. And then at the end of this hall would be the bird building. Bird barn. We'll say it's the bird barn. And the courtyard would be right here. But just pretend at the end of this hallway here, there's another structure. Here, I'll put one. Just pretend this is the, where the birds go. I mean, it's not to scale, but just to give you an idea of what I mean. You know, there's a hall. This is the living space, hallway, some sort of, or some sort of connecting thing. And then birds are here. And I, I put a car here because I was trying to figure out where would a good place a garage would be. But I didn't get that far because I decided, decided to redesign it again, which is what we're going to be doing in a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. You can see it's just like a big rectangle. And it would probably be like slanted or something like that here, but this, this software doesn't give me the option to design like roof and stuff like that. So what would probably happen is like at the front it would slant up to where the loft is and then probably like slant back down or something. I don't know. That's what the that's what the architects for the floor the floor plan guy. He's gonna figure that stuff out. We're just we're just generally getting a design. Uh, I mean a, a floor plan idea to give to him, and then he can he'll do the rest. And look, there's even papaya on the on the model for the kitchen island here. Okay, but anyways. So, oh, I forgot to do this. Wait, hold on. I'll move that over. I switched, the, the stairway was on the other side when I originally made it, and then I kind of switched them around. I switched the stairway over to the other side. And I think I think I like the stairway on this side better. Well, I was playing with the bottle cap down there. We'll just put the railing there. Okay. There we go. So, same same basic thing, get the living room, and then the kitchen right under the loft. Maybe the loft would overhang a little bit, that sort of thing. And then there's the stairway, they can come up here and perch. And then, you know, if I did put perches in the wall, or, um, you know, a bird stand or something, for instance, they would be down here. And I'd probably, you know, I'd still have perches on the couch. I'm, I'm going to get a, a smaller couch that's leather when we move, and it's easier to clean and not so giant, but we'd still, I'd still put some perches on the couches like I do now, but probably design them in such a way where they don't poop on the couch as much. <laughs> Maybe put some like brackets out a little bit further so that if they poop, it just, it goes on the floor and that's, that's easy to clean up. No big deal. But, um... You know, we could we could put some over on the wall here or something like that. I don't know. This is the general idea for, um, you know, it's not like this window's going to actually be here like the way it looks here. It's just like kind of a, a general vibe. Like, I'm just trying to get the vibe going for the guy. And then he can take this and make it into something that's more functional. So this, I think this is probably my favorite design so far, but... The thing I was concerned about was uh, having two separate buildings instead of just making it all one because it might cut the cost down on the structure if it's all built into one building, like one pole barn building, instead of having two separate structures. But basically, there's just a hall that goes down here, and I don't know if this window would be here or not but my thought and this originally was maybe make this a little courtyard or something and then maybe the enclosure that Beatrix goes into 
I could see from here. But I don't know how practical it would be to have a giant window in the hall like that. And, you know, it's not really very accessible to look at them. So this may not be here at all, but I was just playing with the idea. But, um, basically, you know, have a little, like, half bath here with the uh, uh, heating and air and washer dryer. And then uh, this one actually has a second bedroom. That's just a smaller one. But I was kind of thinking maybe making the living space a little bit bigger and then getting rid of the second bedroom or maybe the getting rid of the uh, half bath or something like that. I don't know. We're going to try to figure out some of this stuff today. You having fun down there, buddy? Are you too afraid to come up here where Rhea is? You're the one that usually provokes her. If you just leave her alone. Uh, this would be like the master bathroom. Again, it's not much, but you know. You know, it's not the biggest bathroom ever, but it gets the job done. And then we'll have a bedroom in here, closet. And then, uh, so basically, I would walk through here to get to the birds every day. And there would be a, you know, just like the structure in that first one I showed you guys, it would just be right here instead. But I just left that open because I wanted to try to get the house things, like the design of the house figured out before I put effort into redoing that whole thing again. So, I think this is my favorite one so far. Uh, Nikki F88 says, looking good so far. Hand the burb some blueberries on my behalf. Dark Lux, or from Dark Lux. Here, we'll give Rhea one since she's right here. Okay, she just dropped on the ground, great. What do you guys think about this one? One three toss up. I like the first one and this one. I think I like this one more. This is the third choice. You like the one I, Neb says. I like the one you said you like more. I like this one the the best so far. But we're gonna try to um, stop dropping blueberries in the ground. Stop it. Excuse me. We're gonna try to. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, we're going to try to do a new one today. Because I was thinking maybe... Uh, like, try to get everything into one big pole barn. Instead of having two separate kind of buildings instead. So... Am I taking into account neighbors and all the noise Be Beatrix makes? Well, yeah, I'm not going to have an HOA or anything. It'll be out of city limits. I couldn't afford anything within doubt, like the city of Dallas with an HOA and all that kind of stuff anyway. It's going to it's gonna be a little outside of Dallas, but in that general area. What software was this? Uh, this is called Home Design 3D. Sorry, my, usually it's right here. Or in the top left corner. You can't see the mouse, I keep forgetting. Uh, and usually it's in the top left corner. But my big fat head's covering it up right now. What are you doing up there, buddy? 
Come here. And we definitely need a better background for streaming <laughs> instead of just an ugly kitchen. Oh, excuse me. Well, I like to think it right now. I know everyone was saying, well, aren't you taking into account like framing for streaming and all that kind of stuff? And like, oh, you know, guys, like, I can't build a dream Mr. Beast toucan house, unfortunately. So I have to choose priorities. And the priority right now is just to have some cheap space where I can live and sleep and, and survive and the majority of the money going into bird enclosures and not, you know, some kind of uh, crazy, you know, H HGTV, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, you guys have seen all those, the freaking YouTubers where they have like the huge freaking houses and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. <laughs> I wish I was. If I had if I had the YouTube money some of the YouTubers had, like, I'd have a freaking indoor rainforest where these guys can live in. But, or maybe an outdoor rainforest. I don't know. But that's not possible right now, unfortunately. So, the main goal is to just try to get a, a good space for the birds that we can uh, film with more easily excuse me stream with more easily and most importantly the birds have plenty of space to be happy and uh, live comfortably so that's the main priority so priority one was a good place for the birds to live and you know Lalo, careful, buddy. Don't piss two clock off. Um, I was kind of, I was just thinking that, you know, so this is, this is, it's 2,000 and something square feet. It's not really. Most of these houses are about, the living space itself is about twelve to 1,300 square feet. And that's it. And it might, it might end up being smaller at the end of the day. Because... But you know, I, when I when I started designing this stuff, I was like, okay, well, I can't afford everything I possibly could want. But what I can do is make it where I could easily add on to it in the future if we make more money. But if that doesn't happen, I can live comfortably with what I have now with the birds, and they can be they can be safe and happy. And, um, you know, that's what's important. So, my, my number one priority is good, safe, happy, large space for the birds. Big enclosure for Beatrix. Because with, with Beatrix, honestly, it would probably be a lot easier to do this. And a lot cheaper if not for Beatrix. I'm going to be real. Because if it was just birds that are like Lalo and Rhea and Tupac, they don't, they wouldn't need a, a big zoo enclosure, you know, outside. I mean, I'd still want to have space for them to go outside, but we wouldn't have to be going crazy like we did, you know, when I showed you guys the first house, if that makes sense. Because Beatrix just doesn't, you know, she can't be in, a, in an enclosure inside unless it's huge because she's just you know she's wild she's got to be in a wild bird cage she's not she doesn't like people she gets scared when she's outside if, you know I mean you guys have seen her on streams when she's back on the couch she's not comfortable here it stresses her out and she's she's gotten into situations many times when I've had her out in the house where I thought she might possibly seriously injure or kill herself because she's trying, she's getting scared and flying into the wall, and uh, you know, trying to squeeze behind appliances like the uh, air conditioning unit back over here. No, oh, you guys can't see my hand. It's back behind this wall right here. 
between this wall and my room, my bedroom, this way, there's a, you know, air conditioning unit that's recessed into the wall. And a few times, even on stream, I think a couple of times, she's tried to squeeze back behind there and there's sharp metal and, you know, it's just and not a place for a bird at all. What are you guys doing? But th these guys never do anything like that. You know, the most they do is that when they get scared, they they poop, they spray poop on the wall. And it's, yeah, it's disgusting, and it's gross, and I have to spend like 10 minutes cleaning it up. But they don't get hurt, and they don't, they, they don't potentially hurt themselves, or, you know, they get spooked. That's it. And they go land somewhere else. But Beatrix just isn't a house bird. She's got to have... She's got to have a big enclosure outside. And, uh... Two cans need bigger enclosures than parrots. Unfortunately, so... But, uh, what I'm trying to say is... But I have, you know, my, my, I feel very bad for these birds like Beatrix because nobody, like, nobody cares about them. And there's nobody there that is going to take them unless they're breeders and they're trying to make money off of them. You know? And they get, they get pulled in the country, into the country illegally. It's, it's always kill build toucans. And, uh, you know, they get, they get pulled into the country illegally from Costa Rica or Mexico, probably Mexico, probably South Mexico. They get pulled in and then sold as pets in pet stores to unsuspecting people that think they're getting a pet. And instead they get a wild animal, then they have it in a tiny cage. And Beatrix is in a way, 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 way bigger cage than she was in when I found her. But... She still needs a bigger cage, and it needs to be outside. Or she needs to have the ability to be outside for uh, the majority of the year. So, that's what sucks. Hey, Lalo, what are you doing, dude? Get out of there. That's that's dirty. Look, come sit up here. Come on. Come sit up here. And you want the cat? Here. You want this? There you go. And Beatrix actually stopped. I just realized that she stopped. Uh, oh, because it's starting getting dark, probably. I need to. I need to probably go feed her. Uh, this is taking way longer than I thought because it's. Um, we've been over an hour now, and I've only just showed you what I've made so far. He's not trying to eat the cap, he's just playing with it. Anyways. Can you free fly toucans? Um, I think uh, Jamie, Jamie Lee of uh, Bird Tricks tried to do free flying with hers and it just, it didn't work out. Toucans aren't big flyers like parrots are either. And they have a very short attention span. And they're not very strong flyers either. Uh, they're very agile, but they live in dense, you know, they live in the forest, the density of the forest for the most part. They're not flying, like, long distances like parrots. Oh, well, parrots don't fly very long distances, but they fly a lot more than... Uh, or they, they fly longer distances, I should say. As opposed to toucans who, who do short flights like they do in here. You know, up to the a different branch and back down and that kind of thing. They do a lot more hopping and short flights than, uh, you know, well, parrots, parrots will do longer flights to different areas. But toucans kind of just stay in the density of the forest for the most part. So they're more suited for flying, you know, they have short stubby wings, they're more suited for flying uh, through branches and dense foliage rather than long open distances. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, 
anyways. Some birds aren't evolutionary able to free be free flighted. Not saying that toucans can't be free flighted, but most can't. I think what it comes down to more is uh, toucans just don't do flights like that. Yeah, that's papaya on the in the. I just said that earlier. It's kind of funny. There's papaya on the model for the island. It's actually part of the model. It's not a separate thing, but it was already there, conveniently. I need to cut up a papaya for for uh, Beatrix and the rest of the birds. Hey, Rhea, what are you doing? What are you getting into, huh? She's back, back playing in the sink. Because I, for I forgot to do the dishes last night before I went to bed. Or I forgot to start the dishwasher. I mean, so I had to put my, I had to put their a couple of their bowls in the sink back there. So now she's trying to play with her own bowls. We can move we can move Tupac up here. Lalo, you want to come sit up here, buddy? Look, come up here. Why are you being so good earlier? He's like hopping around on the floor. You were being so good earlier. Sitting next to me. Come on. Come sit up here with me. We're trying to we're trying to get you a cool place to fly around in. I think in high winds and stuff when they free fly, like if the wind picked up, they can't they can't uh, control their flight like that. You know, they're not they're not built to be flying in open spaces like the desert with winds and stuff like that. They're just not, they're not built to be flying long distances. So they just, they do, I mean, in, in the actual rainforest where they live, they do basically what they do in here. They hop around and f make short flights up and down and around to different branches and go to, you know, they go in one tree, they pick the fruit out of that tree and they go fly over to the other tree. You know, it's a short distance. And, but they, they, they're made so their their wings are short so that, you know, let's say there's a branch that's like this and, I mean, the forest is dense. They can, they can fly agilely through the branches to get to where they need to be. Little short, little stubby wings. But they can't control their flight in open air as, as well. They're not, they're not as strong flyers. Like think think of the difference between um, uh, have you guys okay stellar sea eagle have you guys seen those I'm gonna use eagles as an example because these are two these are two pretty good examples because they're similar sized eagles but they're built for different prey or different environments I should say they're built for different prey too but like stellar sea eagle has a, a is a huge eagle it's the biggest bird of prey technically but only because its wingspan is l bigger like an albatross albatross has a long long skinny wings because they fly for long long distances over the you know over the ocean same with the sea eagle so they they're built for flying in open air and kind of gliding and that kind of thing where the harpy eagle lives in the same environment as these guys in South America uh, and it's a it's a huge eagle. I think if it had the wingspan of a stellar sea eagle, it would technically be the biggest bird of prey. But because of the wingspan that the stellar sea eagle has, it's technically bigger. So, uh, but the harpy eagle has shorter wings because it needs to be able to dive in through branches agilely uh, to pick off sloths, monkeys, other birds, whatever it's trying to hunt. It needs to be able to agilely maneuver around the branches to get to its prey. And it's, you know, they live in dense jungles. And while macaws and stuff live in the same environment, they, they fly over the canopies a little bit more. 
to cover longer distances. So that's why you see more footage of wild macaws flying longer distances than you see like toucans because they don't fly that much. Not like that at least. I mean they fly but it's more like like you're seeing here if that makes sense. I don't know why I went on a whole spiel about that but anyways. If you look up like stellar sea eagle and the harpy eagle you can kind of see But they're, they're all designed a little bit differently for their specific niches. That's just how they evolved. And since, since the harpy eagle and um, toucans live in similar environments, they're built similarly as far as their wings go. Short little stubby wings. Can you guys see Rhea on the camera there? Oh, oh, never mind. She was sitting on top of my computer over here. It's oh, right over there. Keep forgetting you guys can't see every single part of my hand when I move. Like there's an actual limited frame. Okay, well we can start um, trying to decide if I should go cut up a papaya for Beatrix real quick because and for them, for that matter. But I don't want to have a knife out with them flying around. They're being crazy right now, fighting each other over here. <laughs> they're not fighting, I mean, they're play fighting, but. I do need to go. Feed Beatrix, though, at least. I'm trying to think. That's why I'm being quiet because I'm trying to think of what I should do. Um, because we are gonna we are gonna build a, another thing. Uh, everyone's probably freaking left by now. Left the stream because this is boring. <laughs> Will it be easy enough for Tupac to go up and downstairs and see if Y is restricted and he really likes being next to you? He wouldn't go, he wouldn't be flying. He'd do exactly what he's doing right now, just sit and chill on the couch. He wouldn't be flying anywhere. If he went upstairs, I'd carry him up there. I wouldn't put him on the railing. I wouldn't want him to fall off. He would just, he would have his normal stands and perches on the couch or like, you know, these. This, this perch here is actually the one that goes in my room. This is what he sleeps on usually. And then that one stays out here. But I moved this out here so we could have one more near the computer for them to come sit on. I'm trying to think if I should put them up real quick so that I can cut a papaya up. It'll only take a couple minutes. I'll let them back out. Ooh, hey guys, come on, calm down. Or maybe, maybe we can do that at about seven, and then I'll just leave them up. Uh, Rhea and Lalo. So that way I can actually leave them in the enclosure, and I'll feed them all papaya and everything at once. Oh, Lalo found his cat again. He's so cute sometimes. Okay. Um, let's build, let's go ahead and just start building the other one. What I'm, what I'm gonna do is put these guys up in about an hour, uh, Lalo and, and Rhea, and I'll cut a papaya up and I'll feed them all at once and then 
I'll put them to bed, you know, half hour or so later. Or I'll, I'll turn their lights off at about eight, well, seven, wait, what time, what time is it? Six? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, around seven, like eight o'clock or so. So at seven, I'll put them up and cut up a papaya. And then at eight, or yeah, at eight, I'll, I'll flip their lights off. So they have about an hour to eat before they go to sleep. You want some more, buddy? Okay, so let's start another one from scratch. Don't don't piss her off. Rhea, you know, always usually just sits there and chills, and then Lalo's got to come start trouble with her and piss her off. Does he start trouble with you? So I'm going to try to do this, oh wait, I already did that. I forgot that I started this already. What size did I make this though? 60 by 40? Oh, Rhea's like really letting me pet her right now, that's funny. You're usually not this cuddly. Um, so I, I made a, this is 12 by 12, I think, yeah. Well, it says 12 point, or 12 foot one inch. But close enough. We're just, we're just getting a general ballpark here to give to him. This is 60 by 40 square feet. So, uh, with this, I was kind of thinking, so I just, I, I, I put this here for reference because I was thinking about maybe just doing two 12 by 12 enclosures. So it'd be 12 by 24 total with half inside, half out. And I wanted to kind of get a, a general scaling idea. So that's why that separate building's out there. Oh, careful. Have I ever owned parakeets? A long time ago. The vet, the vet doesn't specialize in toucans at all. Charlie was saying that the vet specializes in toucans, but she specializes in avian and exotic animals, but her, actually my toucans are the only ones she's seen. But since she's already familiar with exotics and has a lot of contacts and history with them, she's way better than uh, any other. I mean, there's no vet that specializes in toucans because there's no toucan. I mean, there's not enough toucans to necessitate that. So, But she has the capability to figure everything out. So. And she knows generally enough about other exotic animals and birds. So that's good. I can't put somebody saying uh, make some kind of Velcro thing to have Tupac climb up. I can't find it again. Tupac doesn't move that much, is the thing. Like, he doesn't, it hurts him to move, you know? So that's why he sits still most of the time. And he, he, he hops on the couch and very he sh the, the only time that he ever moves really is to go get food and i let him do that just so he actually does move because i'd hate to just have him never move you know and not ever get any sort of exercise or movement going so i let him actually go and try to get his own food some most of the time i mean i, I do help him sometimes but you know he can he can hop a little bit he can flutter he can flutter down to the ground But, and I let him do that just so he gets some... I'm not staying here in Louisiana, no. 
I let him do that just so he actually does get some exercise and some movement in his in his legs and uh, feet and wings. Because otherwise he'd just never move. So. Oh! Excuse me. Okay. I need to bring up some of these images I was looking at earlier. some uh, photos a friend sent me. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should make it 30 instead of 40 wide. I'm looking at images of houses here on my phone, so I am actually working on the design. I'm just trying to look. There was a specific picture I saw earlier that I wanted to try to incorporate into the structure, so I'm trying to find that photo. Where did Lalo go? Oh, there he is. He's on the couch. Oh, excuse me. Where did that photo go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we want to make it, let's, let's try it, let's try to make it 30. Trying to think of where we want the. Uh, maybe we can have an extra room here on the side. I'm not used to having to think out loud like this. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is boring for everybody. I've looked at, someone was saying there's videos of people making tiny homes. I've looked at a lot of videos like that, and I've looked at a lot of barn dominium videos. Oh. Okay. So, I, the thing I struggle with with this building, here, we'll go ahead and we'll texture the, Lalo's like right here in front of the camera. What are you doing, buddy? Don't poop on my monitor, all right? <laughs> Put your tail up. Show everybody your your booty. Okay. Let me let me texture the. That's gonna be very. Usually when I'm doing this, I don't have all the birds out. It's gonna be very distracting having them out while doing this. 
If you guys, if you guys want to stick, we might play games or something after we do this. If uh, you guys want to stick around, I don't know what I'm gonna play yet, but I've been playing Hitman lately, which is probably what I would do after the stream anyway. So if you guys want to just do that for the stream afterwards, you, you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. But some of you might. Well, <laughs> he's in the frame. Some of you might enjoy hanging out and doing that let me know what you think i'd be willing to play some games with you guys after we get them to bed um okay so what we'll do i wonder if there's a way where i can cut into the like That's the, I really want to incorporate the courtyard idea, but when you just have a giant pole barn building like this, I, I struggle with figuring out a way to incorporate that into the design of just a big giant rectangle. Like, let's say we have, um, I wonder, I don't know, because we're trying to make it as cheap as possible. I don't know if it would cost any extra money to cut into the, like, side of the structure and, like, kind of separate it a little bit where, like, the kitchen is maybe back behind it. Let me, let me just, let me just make it and see, see what it looks like if I do that. Let's say, let's say it's right here. Let's say it's like we'll start out with nine feet. No, it'd be better if it went a little bit more actually. Let's say this is like, well, let's just, we're just going to play with it and see what happens. We're just going to play with the idea a little bit. We'll say this is 12 feet. 12 by 10. Is that not locking? Maybe it should. There. I probably should have just made a room if you're doing that. Wait, 12. Oh, wait, no, that only needs to be 10. that it jumps up there like that. The software is not the best, but I don't have the know-how to do the more complicated software. That's what sucks. Like the stuff that's actually made for architects. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know, that just doesn't look right to me. Maybe we need to move it back a little bit more. Crap. Can we select all these at once? Couch in just to get some 
reference for scale. Where's that couch I was using? Uh, I'll do this one. Wait, this is a 10 foot long couch. How long is the couch I have? It's like six by ten. I feel like ten feet is like awfully long for a couch, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna scale it down to like eight and a half feet. Okay, that gives us a little better idea of scale. Let's try to move all this up a little bit. You can tell the birds are getting sleepy because they're all preening now. You're just gonna sit down there, buddy? You can come sit up here if you want. Look. You wanna come up here? Look, come up here. Alright, it's not working. See, I just. Something just doesn't feel right about all this. Add some, we can add the windows here. space just looks small though. Maybe we could... Oh, sorry, I missed a comp or a, a super chat. Debbie Putnam. Thanks for carrying the birds like Beatrix and for all you do for the birds. I love to hear their happy clicks. Thank you, Debbie. Very kind of you. Um, Trying to make an indoor outdoor habitat. Uh, this right here would just be a, like a little, this would be for the, uh, for Lalo and Rhea and Tupac. And then we'll have, here's what I'm struggling with here. Well, what we could do is maybe we'll go ahead and section off the section that we want to put the enclosures. Wait, so how long how long is this? Nineteen feet. Okay, so what we'll do let's get rid of that. Let's make it uh Twenty 
20, 20, like 20 by 30. Wait, how, how long was this whole building? This was 60. So 30 by 60. Maybe we could do 30 by 70. bedrooms go that was the question I guess maybe we could take we could get rid of this window maybe well no because then that would well maybe we can just put a hall here on the side I was kind of thinking maybe the kitchen would go right here and the living room over here and then this area maybe that will work but then the question is if I want a loft where would the loft go because these these pole barn buildings are like you know the roof is structured like like an A on top you know I really I really want a loft but I don't know it's just so hard to design around it. I mean, we could just not have a courtyard, and what we could do is go back to the original idea that I had, which was, um, you know, there would just be a window on the side here, and then there would be an enclosure out, you know, like a porch enclosure type of thing here. And there would only be one window. I love, I just love the idea of it cutting into the house where it's almost like you kind of live with uh, the plants all around because I like, I really like to see the plants, you know, I, I mean, I try to keep the ones in here, of course the birds destroy them all, but <laughs> it would be nice to be able to see like a lot of natural light and just plants every day, you know, I just love the idea of having feeling like uh, plants are around me, like the outside is around me, if that makes sense. I feel like it would, uh, and I love the idea of it like kind of cutting into the house where I can, I can see the birds out there just enjoying themselves in the sun. And I can be inside working or, you know, doing whatever I need to do. <sighs> but I, I love the loft too. So, but the problem with the loft is, you know, it, where would it go? Because I guess I could, I could put the living room over here and maybe the kitchen here instead. I feel like the whole living space would have to be basically in the middle of the house because of the, the way the roof is designed on the top. Are you guys enjoying yourselves over there? <laughs> Do the birds like Vegemite? Uh, they are not Australian, so probably not. <laughs> Got lots of beak tapping going on. Move the couch loft and bottom left. Uh, see, I could I could do that, but th I have to keep in mind the roof. I might I don't think the roof's going to be high enough on the left side of the house. I mean, I guess it could be, but the, then the whole ceiling would be slanted. You know, where do you think you're going? If that makes sense, I need to try to find a uh, picture of. Of a of a pole barn. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Rhea, you all right there, buddy? Here, hold on. 
a second. Here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna show you guys, um, I wanna make sure I don't have like any credit cards or anything going on here. of one to show you guys. Some of these are a little shorter than I'm trying to find one with high ceilings. Lalo, did you just he just flew in the laundry room? Hold on. He's never done that. out now. He flew out on his own. Um, oh, Rhea, don't jump on the keyboard. Jeez. Okay, it's about time for them to go up. There we go. So see how these all these buildings have uh, you know they're like pointed at the top this is more in line right here or like right here with what I'm going for I don't think we'll probably have all this stuff on the front here it'll probably just be flat on the front but uh, just to give you an idea well, see, here's what they did. They actually cut into the front there a little bit, but that's where the front door is. But it would be just be it would just be weird to have it like have the front of the house have a freaking bird cage on the front of it, essentially. See how they're. Pointed at the top. This is kind of more of the general shape I was talking about right here. See how it's it's pointed at the top there. So if we did a loft and it was like over here on the left, I mean maybe you could put it a little bit lower if, if this whole structure was higher. But for the most part, you know the highest point of the ceiling would be in the middle, so the loft would kind of have to be in the middle as well. So, but anyways. So, the, I mean, the, ma the main thing is affordable, energy efficient, low maintenance. That's what we want. What, what are you guys doing? Are you about ready to go to bed? Okay. Why are you getting so wild? Kayla Bright says, hope you're having a lovely evening. Thank you. Or Kyla, excuse me, not Kayla. Thank you, Ka Kyla. Why do I keep wanting to say Kayla? 
I hope you are having a great evening as well. I'm trying to, I'm reading Charlotte's comment. Uh, she says, I love the idea of the courtyard cutting. <laughs> cutting into the house too. Either so the house is like a C or O. What about placing a loft above the living room? If you need to have a tall space for the enclosure area. See, that's part of the issue I'm running into here because this cuts, like the courtyard cuts into the middle of the house. The loft would have to be right here, essentially. But, you know, this is, uh, this is open at the top for the most part, right here. So nothing can go in over top of this. Does that make sense? Because we want, you know, we want to have this open so that light can actually come from above and get into the courtyard. Oh man, it's like a puzzle. Flip the house around, front is the back, back is the front. That could work, maybe. But the back side, like this side here, is going to be where Beatrix and the other you know, this is where this is gonna essentially be the bird area right here. That's why I have that sectioned off because I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge how much room I have to work with uh, for the living space, basically. I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to put them up, and we'll just have two clock out. They're getting, they're getting restless. It's time to eat and get ready for bed. Um, trying to think. Rhea. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put them up. Uh, let me put them up and then I'm gonna cut some papaya up and you guys can still see me I'll be in here, but I need to put the birds up first. So give me a second Too much poop going on in here. Come on. All right, how about you just follow me? Come on. We got food back in here.
just not going to cooperate today? Finally got Lalo to follow me back there. Usually he just immediately follows me and goes in his enclosure, but for some reason he didn't want to cooperate that time. So. That time he did. Or eventually he did, I mean. Let's see, he went ahead and crapped on my chair before he came back there, for good measure.
one papaya. Oh, here we can do this for now. Uh, there we go.
There you go. One chopped papaya. I'll be right back. Oh, wait. almost forgot. Oh, wait. No, the blueberries are on there. Oh, no, they're here. back. Did everybody leave now? Did I miss any comments? Did you guys enjoy the fruit chopping? <laughs> Do some fruit chopping streams from now on. Oh, speaking of Tupac, he needs some food.
change that. I'm gonna put it a little closer so people can see it eat. I'm gonna get myself a drink. now settled. Um, do two cans eat soft vegetables like t tomatoes or eggplant? Um, tomatoes are fruits, but uh, they do, I do, I just put some peas out to thaw. They eat peas and green beans and papaya and uh, blueberries. I wish I could incorporate some guava, but all the guava is out of season right now, and it's very expensive to try to get online, so. Oh, I guess I should switch it back over. Oh, man. Did we figure this out in the meantime? <laughs> uh, maybe we can, we can probably move this wall up a little bit. Right about there. I guess maybe what we could do is... Let me try that. Let's get rid of that window. Well, no, that doesn't solve the loft problem. Why couldn't they just build it with a slanted roof? Like, How would I feel about a central courtyard? Well, the problem with that is uh, airflow. You know, we want we want to get a lot of fresh air and sunlight. I know it's it's far down because this perch is taller. I'm sorry, buddy. But can you reach that? Uh, we want to get a lot of fresh air and sunlight, like a you know sun coming from the top and from the side there. And I think it would be it would be difficult to design a roof around the courtyard being in the center and then having it open at the top. Can't you do a side door? Side dorm dormer. What's a dormer? Have I ever considered growing food for them when I move? Yes. Yeah, I'd like to try to grow some papaya and um, blueberries when we move. Maybe some figs too. You could make a loft L-shaped. So it's not over it. Yeah, I guess maybe. Does do my birds love peas? They, I think they tolerate peas. Lalo seems to like them actually, but the other the other ones don't like them as much. I'm from Oklahoma. Well, I'm not from Oklahoma City, but I was born in Oklahoma City. Someone said hello from OKC. I lived in Norman. We're moving uh, to somewhere near Dallas. Okay, I need to rethink some of this real quick. 
Oh yeah, here's what I was gonna do. Let me just start putting walls up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I could do a bedroom here. If we just had a hall right here, split. Wait, land. Oh crap, I didn't know you could do that. What does this do? Oh, you can make probably probably make like a deck or something with that. Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh, there we go. Is that what that's for? Oh yeah, cool. I could do that. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? Where, where did the metal go? There it is. Okay. And then we'll put like a wall right here. Oh, how wide are hallways usually? Like, th like three feet wide? Is that how long they usually are? Or wide, I mean? Wait, how... How wide is that? Oops. Why is that all weird? Why does it want to be... Oh, that's because this is... Why is it all crooked? That's four and a half feet wide. That's that's got to be plenty. 1.2 meters. Hallways are 36 or 42 wide. Okay, so about three or four feet. Let's say like, really three feet? Why does it seem so That's two. That's two point four feet on the inside. I'm screwing that up. Hold on. This software is just not like. <laughs> it's not the most accurate software. <laughs> like I can't like. Okay, we're just gonna. I don't know how to use like Blender and all that other stuff though is the problem. Does that seem like slanted? What, or is that just like an optical illusion I'm seeing here? It does seem like it's slanted slightly, doesn't it? What the hell? Why is it doing that? Did I screw it up with this land or something? Why does it look so weird?
now this doesn't. <laughs> Wait, why is this not a, uh, it doesn't think that this is a room now? The software is not the best, but you know, there we go. <laughs> why did it make this uh, wood though? It thinks this is all one room now. <laughs> okay, we can put the windows back, that's all right. Oh, architecture, that's right. So what I was thinking was, um, Wait, where the hell? Oh, scale. You all right? What was that? You sneeze? floor concrete. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. I'd probably be better off just building this freaking thing in The Sims or something. Damn. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can, uh... Put loft over private areas. Well, my thought was maybe I don't know what to do with this hole. Like, I don't know. The this whole thing where it um, the whole courtyard idea just messes with the design for some reason that's like the picture I have in my head includes the courtyard but for some reason when I'm uh, trying to design it for some reason it just doesn't work in my head like they don't fit together for some reason of papaya over here. Okay. Add a big window in the corner for the courtyard. The other birds are, well, they're not asleep yet. Snake lady. Uh, they're not asleep yet, but they, they I put them up because they're, they're eating their dinner before they go to sleep. And they're getting crazy. Make it a rectangle on the side instead of a square. I'm not sure what you mean. Kind of thinking, um, geez, I don't know. Maybe we could nah. 
So the livable space is like the livable space and square footage is more expensive than the like shop or garage areas, which is what the bird would be considered the bird's area. Damn, I got a keyboard or not a keyboard. I got a hair on my keyboard. I'm trying to get off. Um so the birds would be back in this area. And this would be the livable space. So I think the, the problem I'm running into is trying to maximize this area. Maybe we could... Let's make this eight feet. Yeah, no, it won't go to eight feet. We'll have to do eight foot one. <sighs> Maybe this would come out a little bit more. And then we can have we can have the kitchen over here, maybe. So I have like Hmm. And then maybe we could build the loft over here. I think you know <laughs> They just have to do a, like a slanted roof or something, maybe? Where it's higher on the left side of the uh, left side of the house compared to the right. Something like that, maybe. What program am I using? Home, it's called Home Design 3D. Cutting a big space into tiny spaces? I'm not sure what you mean. Let me try to. try this real quick why does it put that little why did it put that there I don't want that Oh, oh my lord, what is happening? What is it doing? Uh, why did it make a giant hole right there? What the... <laughs> what the... <laughs> oh my... What the... I swear to God, this software sucks. I don't know what else to use though, because I can't use the more, I don't have the knowledge for the more like complicated stuff is the problem. Um, well, I don't know how to do the loft now, because what, what is it, what is, uh, is it this land or whatever? Wait, hold on. I 
I don't know what was causing it to act all weird like that. The top wall connected to the bottom wall, you're right, but I don't know why it did that. How many rooms do I need on the ground floor? Uh, probably like three at least. Well, I guess, I guess maybe we could put the like heating and air stuff in the bird portion. And the washer dryer. And then, you know, we'll have a bedroom, one bedroom, and then a, a one bathroom, and maybe one secondary, second bedroom or something. But I don't know why it just, it jacked up the... Well, let's try it again and see what happens. Oops. just make it like right okay I think it worked that time maybe yeah it did okay and the weird the weird thing about this software is like so see right now it says it's like almost 2,500 square feet but it's not gonna really be that big because what we're gonna do is create an opening here for the loft But for some reason, it, it counts that opening space as square footage still. That's one of the many issues with the software. <laughs> so, um, let's put it like right there. But that's the only way to create a loft in this software, is to do what I just did. So it's a pain in the ass, but it's the only way to do it. Let's change this texture, because it bothers me when it's not matching the rest. Excuse me. This could work, maybe. Now the question is, where do I put the freaking stairway? Um, let's find our stairway. What kind of stairway do we want? We don't want that. Usually I use this stairway right here. Oh, we need to go to the ground floor though. What other options do we have though? I guess the best option is just the one we were using before. Let's see. Where, oh, here it is. So we mirror that. But see how much freaking space like these stairways take up though? That's what sucks. Make it shorter and taller. Put it against the wall. And usually, like, I would put the kitchen right here. Maybe that's just gonna have to be what we do, but I don't know what this whole space is gonna be. 
seems like it's just wasted space. There goes Beatrix again. Right, let's make sure that's working. Yeah. Maybe it should come out a little bit more. Looks a little bit too steep. Okay. And we can probably move it back a little bit. Oh, crap. Damn it. I screwed that up. I guess we could still put the kitchen there, maybe, but... And just move the... feel a little more cozy that way. Hmm. But then there's a bunch of wasted space right here. Not necessarily, because we could put, um... We could put perches and stuff back here, maybe. I was just thinking for streaming, though, it might be kind of cool if the... Well, you know what we could maybe do? We could keep the living space here still. This could be an entryway, but then the enclosure would still be at the front of the house. I guess it really wouldn't look the lot would have to be really wide, though. Hmm. could have a kitchen? Only you're going to have to have a kitchen. A spiral staircase. We could try that. I don't really like spiral staircases though, but let's see what it looks like. I feel like a spiral staircase would probably be more expensive too. it doing that weird cut <laughs> look at that what is with the software man <laughs> damn it I didn't mean to do that I keep jacking it up I wish I could move it while I was looking at the top but it won't let me do that what what does this think I'm gonna do I can't use this on a loft in this software because look what it does it doesn't even connect to it it's just like I don't know why it I guess I'd have to like really um, bring that lip out, but I don't think this is going to work with that software, so, or with this software. This 
cloth is too big. Bring it back a little bit. that all forward now. Why did it? Oh, there we go. That's the problem. Okay. I think that's a little too tall. There we go. Something off there. I need to scale this out a little bit more. Okay. Um here we can put we can put some uh, there. Okay, you can get a single slope barn dominium. That helps a lot then. Huh. So if we imagine that the roof is slanted here, I know this is just a lot of footage of me thinking. When you move to Texas, are you going to buy land and build to specification on the land for a toucan centric home and rescue facility? I think that's so cool. Yeah, that's the idea. So, like, before we even, we can't even find property yet, like land, because I need to uh, get the, uh, what am I trying to say? I need to get the uh, floor plans and all that kind of stuff done first so that, that we can find property that's going to be suitable to build that specific structure on. So but before February, I'm going to send everything I have to the contractor and the architect so that they can come up with the floor plans and all the designs and all that stuff. Um, and then once that's done, 
then we can take that and go find a piece of property and I've already found the contractor to build it we just have to we have to get the designs finalized and then find a, a piece of property that's suitable for the for the structure so that's why we're designing it first so it's going to it's going to take him a couple weeks to um decide the oh, excuse me uh, design the uh structure there Oh crap. I don't want to close steam. This is running on steam. What was I gonna say? Yeah, anyways, we gotta get the we gotta get the design finalized first and then we can find the property, so um yeah. Anyways. Especially considering, like, we want to build enclosures for birds as well. You know? So we got to find property that's going to be suitable for all that. But we want to try to build it as cheap and modular as possible to begin with. And then, you know, as the channel grows, we can add on to it and accommodate more birds over time. But for now, we can't afford all that crap, so... Uh, where, what was I going to do? I was just thinking, so if there's a slanted, so we can either have, well, the loft is up here, so it's still slanted that way. But I think it would make more sense if the loft was on this side. Jeez. Or hell, even if the, maybe we should try that. I wish I wish I was a good artist so I could actually just draw it out on a piece of paper like the front of the building but I suck at well, I used to be good at art when I was a kid but I haven't done it in a long time now and I never drew structures I always drew animals and stuff like that let me think for a second so if we make this the front of the house, I'm just concerned about if this was the front. Then, first of all, people would see, I don't, like, I don't want to advertise that I have birds, if I can help it. I don't want to invite anybody to come and try and look at them or tamper with anything or God forbid, steal them or something. So that's one thing I'm concerned about with having the courtyard at the front. I feel like that could maybe work though. And also, this is really wide. So, uh, if the property is more of a long shape, and so I guess you could just make a driveway that kind of like goes around to the front though. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be easier to find property if it wasn't long ways like that, like this wasn't the front. But I guess maybe they could just make a driveway, kind of just, you know, if the if the property was more long than it is wide facing the road they could just make a driveway that kind of comes around to the front maybe maybe that would work and then so from the road you would just see this side of the building which could work okay so let me let me try something here instead of having a loft here let's let's do it like this let's do 
do it like that instead. And keep in mind when you're looking from the outside here, since I can't like modify and build the, uh, what am I trying to say? The shape of the house from the outside, we're just gonna assume looking at you know this 3D model that it, it looks like a slanted roof. So this would be high and then it would, it would come down like this basically. If that, you know, does that make sense? But then the whole house would be kind of like that. So we're just going to assume that. But what we could do... Hmm. So... Let me look at it in 2D real quick. This is 12 feet wide. I feel like it needs to be 20 at least. Right there. So if we add another eight feet, well, we can adjust the size of that side if we need to. Okay, let's just add, let's just make this 20. Then where would the friggin' entrance be? What this doesn't have to be. Wait, here's what we could do. I'm stupid. Well, let's just put this couch here for now. We could um. making a mess over there, dude. Maybe it could be like this. Oh, what else? What we could also do is, um, oops. Textured differently. There. Oops. Why do I keep doing that? We could uh, extend the loft over a little bit here. Oh crap. Where did our where did our little gap thingy go? Is this it? Why did it drop down? Oh, there it goes. some space for that slant. So maybe we can just do like that. And then we can take um, we need to find let's do the railing. What did I use for railing? There we go. 
I know it's going to be kind of slop. It's going to look kind of sloppy because this program doesn't give me all the tools I need to make what we want. But uh, you know, it's just to give it's just give a general idea to the to the guy, and he can he can take care of the rest. So maybe we can do it like that, and then we can have we can actually have the front door. Where's the door at? Let's do like. Oops. Yeah, let's put the front door on the, on the second story. Like under the stairway, like this. That could work. And then the kitchen could be over here. So there's a lot of... Here, let's... Um... Okay, we'll add windows and stuff later. So... Uh, we're gonna pretend this is a slanted roof, so basically it'll look like this. Like, pretend that this whole corner is like cut off like that, so it's just slanted upwards. Does that make sense? So this side of the house is higher than this side. So we'll make this the front, and it can still fit long ways. And this could, well, the thing is, is like a, I don't know, the loft the short loft like that just doesn't look as good. Hmm. Let me think. What is the total? I wonder what the total. I think it's time for birds to go to sleep. Yeah, it's almost eight. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna try to find out what the length of this wall is. Okay, so it's thirty. Right now, this is a thirty by. Uh, let's see, 30 by 70 about, might be better if it was 40, Forty by 60, oh crap. We'll, we'll fix the walls here in a second. There. Let's just let's just see what this looks like. Cause I know I know they do come in forty by sixty size buildings. Like pre pre manufactured. We'll move this over a bit. Can we, we need to scale the opening back a little bit. Oh, oh wait, here's what we'll do. It's not really, it says it's 3,500 square feet. It's not really. Because it's, it's counting a bunch of unused space. I don't know why the program does that, but it does. Okay. Let's see let's see what that looks like. That's a little better. It doesn't feel as claustrophobic. I don't know. It just—it still just uh, feels weird for some reason to have the have the loft not facing the door. I don't know why. But 
but it does fit. It does fit everything in in a in a pre fabricated sized building, which is forty by sixty. Okay. So we'll just pretend that there's a glass door right here. You know. Um And we have a hall here. Why does it seem so, I don't know if the like, this is supposed to be like three and a half feet wide, this hall. I don't know why it seems so claustrophobic to walk down though. So this space is the bird space then. And this actually looks like it's too much space. We could probably shrink this building down a bit. So there's a gap right here, but only because I put that uh, little opening thing. Acer Light. What's up, man? He says, hi, Brock. Haven't seen you in a bit. Thanks for joining us. Being able to look over the loft to see who's at the door would be pretty cool. That's what Neb says. As if anybody ever comes over to my house. <laughs> Um, here, we'll put some random kitchen crap in here, just so it looks like a kitchen. <laughs> uh, it's like my least favorite part. Where's a, where's a little, no, here's a fridge. Where's our stove? Which one should we use? Let's go with this one. I'll just make it look a little like a kitchen. little island I know they don't match but just just to give a, a little feel you know feel of what's going on we got our papaya there okay but then there's like all this unused space here and I don't have any use for a kitchen table hmm I feel like there's just so much unused space in that instance. I mean, we could put we could put perches and stuff back here. Should be good, but you know, we would we would put the we put my computer up here. I mean, this could be a little, this could be a little uh, computer area in here. Maybe put, put, a, uh, put a little mini bar at some point. Put some booze in there. <laughs> okay. And then down here, I just have a little living area. Here's what I'm worried about right here. If this, I don't want this rail to be too close to the couch because I don't want to get my uh, anything pooped on. <laughs> I 
they're definitely going to be dropping bombs off the side of here, and it's going to be nice and splashy. But that's the price you pay, small price to pay for salvation. And I almost just put a whole other room right here. I guess it's not a, that bad of a thing to have. I don't know, you know, it almost. Uh, It would almost seem better if the loft was over here, over the kitchen. I don't know if that would work well, though. Where would the stairway go? I guess I could go right here. Then there would be more open living area that doesn't feel like part of the kitchen. I'm gonna read what some of you guys are saying. salt box house design? Let me Google it. Oh yeah. That's similar to what I'm thinking. Cot like a little, little cottage house plan, except for it's, it would basically be made of steel instead of wood. These houses are all really big, too. I don't want a house quite that big. I know it looks like it's it's a big place, but a good portion of it's going to be just a big garage space where the birds live. I mean, not a garage. Like, it's not a garage, but, like, you know, unlivable space or non-living space. Excuse me. You could use that empty space for your streams. Yeah, well, here's what I was thinking for the streams was, um, well, would they be outside? I was thinking uh, having, for the stream, having this as the background, the, the courtyard area. Or just, I guess it doesn't really matter, you know, we could switch it up. Ideally, I'd like to have mounts on the walls with the cables in the wall and the cables running up to my computer up here. So that way, I don't have to run cables across the house uh, and I don't have to set up a tripod and all that stuff every time I want to stream. I can just put the camera on the mount and, and roll. You know what I mean? I could even have a shotgun microphone kind of mounted under the bottom of it, pointed towards the couch. But I, I think once we move, our, we're not going to stream as much from the living room. We'll probably do some like here. We'll do some outside. We'll do some at the computer, and then we'll you know we'll do some back where the birds are, or have have the ability to switch cameras at least somehow I need to decide how big or small you mean as far as square footage goes I know like I just I want the living space itself to be around 1300 square feet when do I think I'll have a new place? I have no idea. We gotta, we gotta design this stuff first and get it to the contractor and find a piece of land before I could just say anything like that. Two cans could do some sick moves sliding down the railing of the staircase, maybe. It does, it does, uh, add some perching space between the stairs and the railing. That's one of the reasons I like the loft. That's um, that's actually like the main reason I like the loft idea 
It's just for that. Just so the birds can have, uh, have some nice, uh, flying space. or perching space, flying space, up, you know, they can get up high, all that kind of stuff. General toucan space. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to see what it looks like if I put the loft over on this side instead. Over the kitchen instead of having it like right here I guess you know what I could do is that's another possibility is if I move the door right here and then move the living area over here but then again uh, I kind of I like having the couch kind of near the window where I can see the birds there what sucks though, is if I want to work on the computer and have them outside, I'd prefer to have the computer where I can see the birds. But I really don't want it in the living, I don't want the computer in the living space, is a problem. Why not add a second story window to see the birds when they're on the second story? It's not going to be that high. Like, we would put the ceiling on the courtyard, like right here. Like, it would be a mesh ceiling with maybe a little bit of an awning overhang to provide shade. But other than that... Um, you know, it's not going to, it's not like they can be, they, the ceiling is going to be all the way up here, you know, they're not going to be flying all the way up to the top where I can see them. I guess I could put, if I did do the, uh, loft like right here, I could put a window where I could look down and see them outside, like from above. But they wouldn't be able to fly up there. I would just have to look down at from the top. The coolest thing, if I could, it'd be really cool if I could do a little porch up here. You know what I mean? I put like some railing right here, and look down and see them. And there's like a, just a little porch up here. But that sounds like it's probably too much trouble, honestly. Have an island with bar chairs. That's what I, that's what this is, right here. We probably I probably get a longer one, one that was a little bit longer like that. And then have the little bar stools there. That's what I would do. I like the porch on the roof too, but uh, that's that's more that's more money to spend is the problem. I don't have I don't have a lot of money to work with. I still need to try to make I need to try to make this um, economical to some extent, you know. I mean, it's not going to be like completely economical, obviously, but I don't want to, I don't want to exceed anything unreasonable or anything beyond what I could afford. Whew. Yeah, we could make it where the porch should be added later, but I don't know. I don't know how, uh, if it's worth all the trouble to do that. 
Because remember, the roof's going to be slanted. I mean, I guess they could just leave flat space there, you know? Or something like that. Like flat space right here and then continue the roof on this side. I don't know. Maybe. Have I seen the pre... Yeah, I've seen the pre-built houses that look similar. But the problem with the pre-built houses is they're deceivingly expensive. The prefab, like modular houses, they're, they're more expensive than you would think. I looked into it. And also, I, I still have to add space in for the birds. So... I know everything doesn't need to be decided tonight, but I've been working... I've been working on this for weeks now, and I need to I need to submit some stuff to them soon. So I want to try to get some stuff. I want I want to try to get everything done before February with this with the layout and the design and stuff. Um, we'll have cameras around the place. Don't worry. I had a poop tray to the loft railing. How would I? How would I clean it though? <laughs> yeah, they will give it ideas too, because they're. Uh, Carol was saying submit it and they'll give I some ideas too. I know he'll give ideas too. But uh, I want to have it as specific as possible so it's uh, it's not as it doesn't take him as much effort to go through everything because the the guy lives in Texas so I can't go in person and look at it and I mean, I could, but it would just be, it would take a lot of time and money to go back and forth all the time trying to look at what he has and then talk to him and, you know, point out design uh, issues or concerns. It's just, it would be better for me to submit a general idea of what I want exactly and then for him to take that and adapt it into something that's uh, buildable. We're not we're not doing a flat roof. Well, the only the only place we were talking about doing a flat roof for would be uh, where the porch would be right here. That's what we were talking about earlier. But I I just think it's too complicated to do all that. But there was a house. One of the houses I was looking at. Um, Last year had a had a uh, deck on the on the roof right outside the loft. Excuse me. And it it had flat ground, you know, but the rest of the house was slanted and it had a drain where the flat part was. So A quarantine room for sick birds. I've I've uh, I've thought about that as well. Um, my thought with the quarantine was to put them in a second bedroom or something along that line. Basically, what I did with Beatrix. But thankfully, I will be right near the vet. So I can go get the birds checked out more quickly and easily. New birds or whatever. Without having to spend so much money going back and forth. Uh, so for a quarantine room for... I mean, I can't... We're not going to have like a million... I don't think we're going to have enough birds coming in. I mean, I hope not. I don't want to have like a million birds. But, you know, I want to... I want to do what I can, but... There, I don't know if there's enough toucans to 
necessitate all that, but like if I had a quarantine room actually built into the house somewhere, I don't know, it just would never get used, you know? Let's say, like, even if for some reason I had one new bird a year, it would get used once a year for two, like, two, three weeks, two to four weeks. So I think it would probably be better to either set up something temporary outside or... Um, just put put a put an enclosure like a smaller enclosure into a, a second bedroom or even a by room for that matter you know it's not a huge deal to have Tupac sleep in the other room for a couple weeks but that's what I did with all the birds now they just they stayed in my room in a temporary enclosure for a few weeks until they checked out. And wait for their blood work to get back and if their blood works clean then wait, wait another couple weeks and then they're good to go. Uh, two kids don't suffer from a lot of the contagious diseases as much as um, parrots do. So it's not as big of a deal. It, Beatrix was the biggest deal because she had a she had respiratory infection. So I quarantined the hell out of her. But um, generally speaking, they don't have a lot of they don't get a lot of diseases the same way parrots do that are like wildly contagious. At least that's what my biologist friend told me. So and Tupac pooped. He's got papaya on his a lower mandible. Um, trying to think here. Let's 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 move the loft over to the other side just to see. Let's just see what it looks like. Just out of curiosity. Expand this first. Bell. Let's delete all this. Oh crap. I always move the ladder the wrong way. Let's, uh, let's say the slant goes up that way. Oh, you can't see where I'm pointing to, of course. <laughs> Hold on. Jeez. Why is this so, like... I don't know why the walls act all weird like that all the time. Okay. Um, where's the other wall? There we go. So weird. Why did it put a tiny little wall there? Okay. Put the put the stairway like right there.
But what the hell happened here? Why is this... Okay, let's just delete the, all those walls and we'll do a we'll do a new room here. What is happening? Is it gonna start acting weird again? Let's just, let's see what this looks like, just out of curiosity. That could work better. I kind of like that more. What do you guys think? Although it probably, it won't open up over this hallway right here. It'll probably end like right here. Because the, the ceiling is still going to slant down like that. Let me, um, And these gaps aren't right here. <laughs> Although it would look really dope if there was a window like that around the middle like that. That would be cool. Um, I think I kind of like this better. like this. It would be nice if a walkway went all the way around. Like all the way around what? I'm not sure what you mean, Rebecca. And we'll add some. Uh, nice one. TV here. I could just stand here and watch TV for hours. Crap, what did I just do? There we go. Oh, God. Oh. That is way too high for the optimal viewing. It needs to be like right here. Optimal viewing experience is 40% of your vision. Straight ahead. There we go. <laughs> and then from here, you can still you can still see the rails. We could put some perches and plants and crap over here. Um, I mean, hell, we could bring this room down here forward. Oh no, because there's that window there still. But this doesn't need to be as... This could probably go back a little bit more. Like 
that. Oh god, the frame rate, what is happening? Why is it lagging so much? Uh, what if we did like, oops, jeez, why is it doing that? My computer's not even hot. Oh, there it goes. So like it can run like incredibly graphical games, but can't run this crappy home designing program. probably put the stairway like right here uh, and then well the only thing I don't know what the, what they would do is, what would they do with all the unused space here? Because that adds a bunch of... I don't want the cost to be too much. And square footage, like I don't want a big... Sec I don't want a second story, I just want kind of a small loft like that. If that makes sense. It's one thing I haven't figured out. I think maybe I like this better though. Oh, there we go. I think maybe I like this better than uh, having the loft where it was a second ago. I don't know, what do you guys think? And then we'll move on to the actual bird enclosures here in a second. Just pretend that's <laughs> pretend that's not overlapping like it is. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, then we can have, I could have other furniture and stuff over here too. And oh crap, what did I just do? What was that? Oh, I don't think I did anything, did it? No. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring this island out a little bit more. That. I mean, the whole, uh, you know, this isn't going to be completely to scale. We could have, I could have a, a pantry or something under here instead of having the refrigerator right there, you know. But that's something the, the, the actual floor planner would be better at figuring out the best way to do that instead. But uh, I imagine we probably shift this over a little bit. Texture and that looks. I don't like the rosewood look as much. Do it like this. We can, we can have like a, like a white top, like that. And 
do the same with this. Maybe something along that line. I don't know. I have to look at pictures for inspiration. <laughs> Might even be cool if instead of just having the island in the middle there, it was like kind of like this. Instead. Something like that. Maybe. I don't know. But there's lots of space that could be... But, you know, also, we got to keep in mind that when he actually designs it, he might shrink down this whole space a little bit more to try and uh, keep it within a, a specific square footage space. So... This might not be as open right here as it looks right now. Some of this stuff might be shift, shifted forward a little bit. Because then we have this hall. It just, it just seems too... We're going to fix this hall real quick. What the... There we go. They're not the same as claustrophobic now. Okay. So, um, let's put some doors there. Let's put some generic doors. Uh, and then this, this whole area right here the hell is happening why does it separate those into two walls like that and why did it just make that not <sighs> bro what is happening why did it do that Software's such a pain in the ass. Jeez. Why does it not think that this is a room now? Let's, let me see. doesn't think the rest of the house is a room now. What? <laughs> what? It got rid of... Why did it do that? Why is it doing this to me? But now it doesn't think that this part of this house is. This part of the house is a, a, a house. There we go. It didn't screw up anything else, did it? No. Okay. Well, it did it change the floor texture from concrete there there we go okay let's try to put a door there again there we go okay all right so that's the bird this is the bird bird uh, area so I <sighs> I guess maybe the best thing to do would be to make oh, 
maybe this the master bedroom and then this a we'll have let's see hold on let me find a bed for scaling or where's a cool looking bed let's find a cool looking one let's find the, the youtuber bed I don't know what YouTuber bed is. I assume it looks it's something that looks like a bed you'd find at a uh, a tech startup or something. <laughs> if if they had beds at tech startups, it would be that one. What's this one? That one's kind of cool. I saw one the other day that was interesting looking. Is this it? That's it, and it's like all weird looking. looks like a weird wave okay I'm trying to think about where to put the bathroom so my thought is uh, we could probably put the washer dryer and Wait, do washer and dryer, do they give off fumes? I mean, I know they, they blow, the dryer blows air out the side of the house, but those aren't, it's not a fume or anything. Does it have a separate feature to show door and windows? I don't think so. What does it mean when Tupac bounces on the perch? He's just trying to adjust his his footing. Yeah, Connor's right. Would the sound bother the birds? Uh, no, it wouldn't bother the birds. Junkie Saucer Eight says, "Thank you for everything you do and encouraging me to get my first bird." Congrats on the bird, man. Thank you. Um, I figured something like that was going to happen. I'm getting pop-ups from Steam and stuff. I just hope they don't have any like weird slurs or anything in their names. I haven't played with any of those guys in years. Um... Okay, so this would basically be like a garage. But with birds. So we need to figure out. Oops. Oh, wait, no 2D. That's what I wanted. by 24 okay where would be a good place to fit this it's close to fitting well, how many how much would it if we fit two of these in there what size would it be let's see Twenty. Is that exactly in the middle? Well, I mean, it's about it's it's a forty wide, so it'd be about twenty feet long, give or take. Twenty by twenty by ten. It'd be a little bit smaller than 12 by 24, but they're also gonna have room outside here if we did it that way. 
So we'll pretend this is outside. Make it. Why does it keep jumping like that? I hate that. 12. 12 by 20. Why is it why does it say eleven? I don't get that why it does that. Okay. So if we made Rhea and Lalo an enclosure, I'd probably do like something to make it look differentiated from the rest of the house. Where's the metal? Oh, here we go. just to make them look like enclosures so you guys can kind of see what is what. I'm going to put another little wall there for some reason. Oh, shit. There you go. There. this in place of uh, mesh like zoo mesh type stuff if that makes sense so these these windows with the grid like that we're, we're just pretending that they're it's met like a, a metal mesh for enclosures This is outside. They don't have any like, oh, those are like Japanese doors. They don't have a, a sliding door that's like, I guess they have like this garage door we could use in place for now. Well, it's not open though. So I wanna give the idea that at the door, maybe the door slides sideways. I mean, we could use, uh, 
We could use a garage door, I guess. It just seems like it might be expensive. We'll just use this in place for now. You get the idea. Right? Okay. So we need to scale this back. Okay. Okay, that should give some idea of what I have in mind. Now I just need to figure out so we could you know we could put we could put washer and dryer and, and all that kind of stuff in here. trying to think real quick let me let me mock up a bathroom where's the bathroom stuff bathroom here we go Um, where's the sink stuff here? I keep jumping like that. Stop. Stop it. Why is it doing that? Stop that. It's like a floating sink thingy. Okay, well, we gotta put a toilet somewhere. Um, there we go. Okay. That's about all the space we need for a bathroom probably is that enough space for a bedroom though you know like a, a second backup bedroom Second bedroom doesn't have to be that big, does it? I mean, heck, I would I would probably prefer to have my room be a little smaller. The only problem is I need like a closet and stuff like that. And this will just mainly be a guest room. Is 
if I'll have any guests ever. <laughs> Who knows, maybe. Maybe some of the patrons can come visit. Okay. So this will leave space where, you know, I was thinking like, if I just had one, two of these bigger enclosures like this, I mean, Rhea and Lalo could basically live together since they're already familiar with one another. I think they could live in a bigger space together. And then we could just have these two spaces and then if for whatever reason we have another bird in the future, then we can have these, but I don't know. Here, let's, let's, um, let's take a tour. Well, look at this house could use some windows though. Why don't we do that first? I'll just put some windows around. smaller. Where's the... There, let me check this out. There we go. That might be kind of cool. Put some windows like that around. Get some light in. Maybe you know, because this window is going to be probably a killer on energy. Oh crap, what did I do? Oh. Wait, why are those there? There we go. I'm going to let the architect stuff figure out the... figure out the window crap because I don't know he's gonna know more about making stuff energy efficient than I do that's for sure oh wait here we'll do this um So that's going to be mesh. Okay, let's walk. Let's walk through it. And oh wait, we need to. There needs to be some windows up here too. Should stay on that wall. Damn it. <laughs> there. Jeez. Uh. Okay. Well, this is probably. Well, oh, here. Crap. Hold on. Why is it segmented so weird like that? It's gotta like give a different ceiling to every single room. Okay. Now, I don't know about putting a window over here though, because um, I, I think this is gonna extend all the way down. Oh, wait. Can I put a window on the ceiling? No, cannot. Okay, pretend pretend there is no ceiling. Well, or we could do this too. Oh wait, because I'd have to put a room up there. Okay, just pretend there's no ceiling on here, because this is supposed to be outside. Yeah, pretend. 
pretend it's just open on the top. Well, it has a mesh on the top because that's supposed to be outside. Um, Let's make it look like a jungle. Got some plants in there for Beatrix to hide in. I feel like she's in the rainforest. Pretend they're not sticking out of the wall. Okay, now we can go, we can walk through it real quick and check it out and just see if it feels right. I need good lighting in the loft, that's true. But I will have um, like lighting like I'm using right now for filming. Okay. You guys ready to look through? Okay, I'm gonna look through this, and I want to see some. Uh, I want to see some comments about what you guys think about it. Have we been going four hours? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, guys. Well, I had to do this anyway, so I may as well stream and kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Okay. So we go through here, go up here, the computer, I'll probably put my guitar stuff up here, stuff like that. Um, living. Got your kitchen here. Bedroom. Bathroom. Bathroom. That's eh. eh, not too bad. It's kind of small, but that still works pretty well. I think maybe one thing I might switch around is put the shower on this wall instead and then move the toilet over there. Can I do that? It's not like this is a final design or something anyway. Make the shower bigger. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Prison bed. <laughs> This is for my guests that I don't like. They stay in here. I make them sleep on the prison bed. Okay. So, in theory, <coughs> we'd have uh, Rhea and Lalo in the smaller enclosures because they get to come out and go in the courtyard and, and fly around the house. Beatrix, however, uh, won't get to come out in the living room and do all that kind of stuff and fly around. So she needs larger space, and if she's going to have a mate or a friend, they're not going to breed, but still, that mate, you know, boyfriend. We give Beatrix a nice little boyfriend. <sighs> they have uh, they have the bigger enclosure, and then we'll make it where uh, there's a door here, and you know during the warmer months, slide it open. 
most of the year. Leave that door open during the day. At night, uh, feed feed them in here. They got shade. They get too hot out here. They can come out, come inside, and uh, you know, vice versa. They want to be in the sun. They come back out here. They have all this space, and then uh, you know, when it comes time for dinner, I just feed them in here. So they come inside when it gets dark, or when it starts getting dark, and then close them up for the night. And they're safe and protected from predators at night. And I mean, they, we'd still have, you know, concrete embedded into the floor around the outside perimeter. And then, you know, it would be predator proof still. Nothing would be able to get inside of it. But, you know, nobody, no people could come and tamper with it in the middle of the night. That's mainly what I'm worried about, honestly. I don't want to, I don't want to worry about people coming in the middle of the night and doing anything weird. Um, but anyways. So, and then if this gets dirty, of course, like in here. Or when they poop, we'll just leave this uh, leave this uh, concrete and there'll be like a drain, you know, and you just power wash inside here, clean it up. And be easier and cheaper than changing papers, and uh, would take me far less time to clean their enclosures. Because we'll, we'll say we'll have like a we'll have a door over here that leads to outside, and we'll probably have a faucet in here, and I'll keep a power washer and and uh, you know whatever other stuff we might need for cleaning in here. <clears throat> and with a power washer, there's no harmful fumes left behind because it's just water, which is good. And the poop off stuff, I mean, that works fairly well, but for cleaning like fruit and stuff off of, of enclosures, when it's just like dried on there like a resin, man, it's, it's, it's impossible to get off. I have to scrape it, you know? And they get it on the floor and stuff, and man, it's just a pain in the butt. So, uh, and then if we want to expand this area, we can, you know, just add on a, add on another, you know, uh, pole barn type building, steel building to the side of the that garage area or whatever. We're gonna call this the garage area, and maybe we'll make this area a little a little bigger if it's not too much more expensive to add another ten feet on it or something like that. You know, but this space is uh, considered unfinished space by them, so it's it's I think it's only like forty dollars a square foot to do this part of the house so that's why the majority of this like you know the house looks really big but it's a lot cheaper to do this space than it is to do like in here and of course it's all going to be dependent on how what I use for uh, appliances and, and cabinets and stuff like that as well so I'm not, but I'm not gonna, you know, be going expensive with that kind of stuff. So we can keep the cost down even in this part of the house. But with the drywall and and all the other stuff like that, it's a little bit different. So, um, but yeah. And then I'd like to have it where this is separate, climate controlled in here. So I can keep this side like uh, during the winter, for instance. Uh, they won't go outside they'll stay in here and then I, I can keep it more warm or more warm more warm inside of here then like cuz I, I like to sleep at night I like to sleep in like 68 69 something like that but uh, I don't want them to get too cold at night so I probably keep it like 73 74 on their side of the house so and then we'll probably put some windows and stuff in here also but I don't know. What do you what do you guys think about this compared to the other designs? I want to hear I want to hear what you guys' comments are. So from this side of the house it would look like kind of slanted downward or like, you know, like that. So it'd be taller on the left side. 
That's where the loft is. So this ceiling would be a little bit slanted until it gets to here, I'm sure. What do you guys think? Well, I have office space and the loft up there. That's where my computer will be. I don't care about baths. I don't, I don't ever take a bath. Did I decide to keep the second room? You mean the, um, the second bedroom? Direct heat water heater. Oh yeah, I've seen those before. Not a fan of the exterior. I don't. I, I really don't care about the exterior. I don't care if it's ugly. So. You like this in the third design? I think I agree with that. Thinking you would make the second bedroom into a laundry and closet? Maybe. That might that might be better than having it out in the other room or in the where the bird stuff is. Cause I don't know if it if it I have to look into whether uh, washer dryer make any sort of fumes of any any sort. I know they have a they an exhaust that goes outside, but I'm not sure if that's just to move hot air or or what. Add a bath for two cans. <laughs> they have a bath. It's a it's a cat litter box. <laughs> Depending on how many birds you plan on keeping there, the kitchen may need to be bigger. Well, you know, the thing is I can add, uh, I can add a second fridge and the other where the bird space is and keep fruit. Actually, I'll probably have a mini, that's what I have right now. I have a mini fridge back in their room that I keep their food in. This would just be me running it. I wouldn't have employees or anything. I don't have enough birds to necessitate any sort of employee. I can take care of it myself. Lint particles, that's a good point from the dryer. I don't want gas, one thing I'm worried about if I, I don't want any gas, like this house doesn't have any gas, uh, anything so I don't I don't want to I want to try to make sure I don't have gas in the house just in case I don't want any sort of chance of a gas leak happening or anything that could kill the birds like gas stoves and stuff and then of course you got to pay a gas bill as well which sucks and we'll probably have a well again out here. Dryer blows out lint. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, all electric stuff. I mean, a gas car, obviously. But <laughs> if I could afford a Tesla, I'd get one. But... Would I have a fruit garden? Yeah. Probably eventually. I'll just start with the basics first. Be cool to have solar panels, especially if the roof's all flat and slanted. That'd be cool. But, you know, one thing at a time. Uh, main goal is just to try to get some... 
something, some, uh, you know, some, uh, some sort of, what am I trying to say? Like some sort of, uh, I don't know, just a sanctuary, just a, even if it's not much, just some sort of sanctuary for them that I can keep them. That's easier than just doing it where I am now and better, you know, something that looks presentable also. I think I like this and the uh, excuse me so what it, I think what it's gonna come down to is whether or not it'd be cheaper for me to uh, go with one singular structure with with the bird area actually part of the house like it's one single structure here right so the question I have, I'll have to ask the architect and stuff and the contractor. Would it be cheaper for me to have one bigger structure with part of that structure built out for the birds? Or would it be cheaper for me to have one structure that's the house and then connected to it have another structure that is for the birds? That's what it's going to come down to, I think. It's going to be dependent on which one of those options is cheaper. I think if, if it's cheaper to go with one structure, we'll go with something like this. And if it's cheaper to go with uh, two structures, like like the other one we did, the, the one other one you guys liked, number three. Where is it? This one. And it's just it's a matter of whether it would be cheaper to go with this or cheaper to go because this would be like two like if this hallway here would be connected to another building where the birds would be but in the other design it's it's part of the entire house I think that this is probably enough for him to work with though if I send him both of these kind of designs and be like you know I want this but cheap <laughs> some sort of uh, some sort of uh, you know middle ground between the two like so this would be like the office here and maybe eventually you could build a, a porch out here or something should be cool but um, I don't know. I still I still really like this design. It just it seems much smaller and more it, it seems so much more streamlined. But the only the only thing I'm worried about is uh, whether or not it would be cheaper to have the bird room, the bird whatever you want to call it, attached to the like a part of the house or just attached to it. So I'm gonna have to ask him what they or ask them what they think about that you know and they know like I'm doing a toucan rescue type of situation so I'm like I'm trying to keep the cost down because we, we still don't I mean we don't make that YouTube bank I know everyone probably thinks I make a lot of money because I am on YouTube but that doesn't mean anything trust me <laughs> But I at least want to have our own place where we can add on to it uh, for the birds later, you know. In time. Uh, the main thing, I mean, I really want to move for my own mental health and, and all that kind of stuff. But also, I'm really, I really want to have a place for Beatrix and other birds like her that's a little more... Uh, you know, accommodating to her and her needs, so. But anyways. <sighs> Excuse me. Will I have a built-in generator for power outages? Uh, I'll probably get a generator. Because I, I thought about getting one here, but it's, it's expensive to actually hook up to the house. But And I'm like, well, you know, 
we're going to be moving, so there's no sense in spending a bunch of money on that. We're just going to move. So that's the same reason I didn't want to build a aviary outside for so long, because I, I really I've been wanting to move for a couple of years or you know a few years, and um, I kept thinking it was going to happen, and things just kept coming up, but. Put the rooms more into portion size to number three. Do you mean, uh, do you mean in the other, the, bit, the, the one we just made? Go solar with battery backup. I wish I had you guys' as money that you've imagined for me to afford all this stuff. <laughs> do two cans originate from the rainforest? Yes, they do. Uh, right now, goal is just to have a place for the birds to stay and a cozy place to live, you know? This, it would be nice to do solar and, and all that fancy stuff, but I can't, I, I'd love to do it, but maybe in the future, if we make more money in the future, you know, I mean, the YouTube channel's always growing and stuff, so... Metal building with metal roof. What do you mean? I mean this this thing is this is metal. This all everything's gonna be made out of metal. It's gonna look like a big metal building. It's not gonna be the prettiest thing on the outside. But I don't care. <laughs> I think this is probably enough to work with. I can I can send him both of these general ideas and explain, you know. I mean, this this shows what I need, you know. Or it generally has a lot of, but both designs share a lot of commonalities, so. You know, they each have a, they each have a little like courtyard looking thing. And they, they each have a loft. And they each have a big place for birds. And that's the, you know, those are the most, in order of importance. Well, bird stuff's importance, the most important, but to me at least. But I want to have some open living space for them to uh, be able to hang out in as well. And of course, space outdoors. I, I imagine they'll be spending a lot, a lot more time outdoors when we move too. So I won't have to clean quite as much poop and stuff off the floor. I think that's one of the reasons I really like the idea of the courtyard is I can still keep an eye on them. Uh, even when they're outside. Right now I have to walk back and forth and look out the window and all that kind of stuff. And also, I, I, I don't know, it'd just be really cool and relaxing to be able to go and, and sit outside with them, you know, in a, in a planted area with lots of, tr like, you know, tropical looking trees and stuff and just kind of sit there and chill and watch them. It just, that sounds really relaxing to me. Does the glass have to be treated somewhat? They make glass that is, uh, birds can, birds, well, I've never had an issue with any of my birds flying into a window, but, uh, they do make windows that have a UV coating on them that birds pick up with, because they can see the ultraviolet spectrum, and we can't, so they perceive it more as a solid object than we do.
trying to read the comments. I missed a few of them. Tupac get cranky when he doesn't get enough sleep? Not as cranky as Ripley got. Ripley was a cranky girl. Tupac gets cranky when uh, he wants me to put him down so he can eat. And I don't do it immediately. <laughs> like we'll, be, we'll be sitting over there and you know how he sits kind of by my head. And uh, he'll kind of scoot over closer to me. And sometimes I don't notice him doing that. And he, when he does that, he wants me to put him on the floor so he can eat. Uh, even though he has the ability to jump down himself if he wants to. He wants me to do it. But he, he starts getting pissed off at me if I don't do it immediately. He'll start clicking and like kind of like snapping. At me. He doesn't like snap hard like he's trying to bite. But he kind of like, he starts like pecking at my face. Like, dude, what the hell? Put me down. Don't you? He's like, put me down, you bitch. You slave. I demand papaya this instant. Bow before me, knave. I know their solar panels are awesome and they have a ton of benefits, but the upfront cost is just, uh, it's, it's really expensive, you know. I thought about, I, I looked into it last year actually when we were going to move into, actually there was a house that looked very similar to this one that I wanted to move into. Uh, but, unfortunately... Uh, because of COVID, a bunch of stuff just didn't work out with my financing. So, uh, because of the IRS. So that's why that's why we had to wait until this year. But uh, I looked into putting solar panels on the roof, and I, th I think it was like twenty thousand or something for the whole roof. Which, I mean, you know, it's quite a lot of upfront money. That's, I mean, 20000 could probably build that whole bird building that I, you know, to house them in. It might not include the cost of building the enclosures inside of it, but it would cover the cost of the building, I'm sure. So, I mean, in the future, we're looking to do on some energy efficient stuff and, you know, green, eco-friendly like, I'd love to do that, but it's just so expensive. All right, for now, we just need to focus on uh, getting a place for the birds and I that we can call home and stay in and, you know, be able to add on to comfortably and accept more birds if we need to and, and uh, that sort of thing where it's not going to be, uh, you know, I mean, like, Rhea, Lalo, and Tupac do really well here, but uh, it just it would be so much better to have a a place that we could comfortably add on to. And there's so many toucans in captivity that are just basically wild, and they need help. And it it kind of I don't know it just it really hurts me that I can't help them right now, because I tried I've been trying with Beatrix, and I didn't realize you know how demanding she was going to be and as far as her needs go. Of course, I didn't expect her to be wild like she is. I expected her to be maybe a little like, uh, I don't know, uh, a little uh, skittish, I should say. Uh, but I, you know, I expected her to be somewhat where she would step up at least or like let me interact with her without trying to kill me. 
so uh, the plus side is you know we got her back to full health Beatrix and uh, the negative part of her being fully healthy now is she is now confident enough to try to kill me every time I go and try to feed her or change her water or, or do anything with her I've tried target training I've tried like just having her out in the living room spending time with her uh, feeding her you know from my hand she'll take food out of my hand but she runs away as soon as she takes it like a you know she's like a skittish animal like a wild animal and uh, sometimes she doesn't even take the food she just bites the piss out of me for no reason <laughs> so now she's strong enough to not feel like she needs to run and cower as often as she did when I first got her but she, but because she's that strong now and healthy, she is confident in fighting instead of flighting, if that makes sense. So, she wants to bite me instead of run from me. And she's not, like, she will come after you, too. She'll jump across the cage and try to snap at you, so. You know, that's why she hasn't been, I, I need to do a video that explains all this. I know I've explained it a million times during streams, but I know not everybody watch, watches the live streams, so... Yeah, Tupac is getting sleepy. We're gonna, we're gonna call it a night here in a second. Uh, do you guys like the, like the two? I think the third one and the newest one we just did. What do you guys think about that? You guys think those are the designs we should go with? Fox, Foxy likes it. Because I want to try to send this stuff to him in a week or so. You like the newest one? Yeah, I like the newest... I like the newer one, too. And it is more roomy, but, you know... problem with things being more roomy is they're more expensive. <laughs> I, I think I think I'll, I'll uh, send those two designs to them, and you know, it they all have things in common that'll give them a, a good idea of what I want. And I have a bunch of photos and stuff of. Uh, well, I can actually show you guys the photos. Hold on. That I have saved here. Hold on a second. Since you can actually see my desktop. Um, here, I'll show you guys some of the design inspirations. I have more, but they're on my phone. So, this is kind of the idea of the loft. I have photos of that house I told you about, too. That I almost bought in here. Why can't, why won't it go to the next picture? You son of a bitch. See? Something similar to this. See how the kitchen's underneath? See, that's what I was trying to say. Like, that the thing I just designed is like a general layout. But, you know, I'll take that design and then show him pictures like this. And he'll get the idea that, you know, this is more in line with how it should actually look like in person versus just that simple 3D model that we were looking at. Oh, I need to bring the chat back up. There we go. Why won't it let me go to the next photo? So this is what I this is what I love right here. Like I just I love this. And I, like, it would make me so happy to have something similar to this, where the birds can just be outside. So, that's mainly, this, I mean, uh, the, obviously the rest of the house is much nicer than what uh, I'm working with. But, this whole, this image just made me go, man, I really gotta have this, like, area where it's just, it looks like a, a rainforest is kind of a part of the house. 
because I don't know, like I one of the reasons that I get so depressed in this house is the windows are so small. It's like <laughs> reminds me of the thing Donald Trump was saying about the tiny, 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 the smallest windows you've ever seen. <laughs> Well, I don't remember what was that during one of the debates or something but I just love like the big windows and like I like to it makes me happy to be outside and stuff you know I don't get as much opportunity here because of the birds you know so I really I just want to I want to be able to sit outside with them and feel like I'm a part of their world and their world is a little bit a part of our mind too you know where it's kind of like the rainforest is a little bit part of the house too so it's kind of like theirs also okay and then I have some images just from zoos and stuff that kind of show how I want the enclosures to be attached to the building basically it wouldn't look exactly like this I'd rather have it like really planted but <clears throat> general idea is there Here's that house I was telling you guys. Oh, now it's working. Uh, here's the house that I almost got last year. So that's the loft and the, you know, the computer desk up there. Um, that's the front of the house. See how it's like slanted? Loft there, kitchen. <clears throat> See what I mean? It's there, stairway on the side there, and the kitchen's kind of like recessed into that. So I almost got this house last year, but unfortunately, COVID kind of screwed me over. So, but yeah, see, I see how there's, there's just the loft there is what really the actually going seeing this house is what kind of like led me to really want to do that because I could just picture the birds being able to fly up and down. And, uh, you know, down to me and then down back back up there and, and feeling safe and all that kind of stuff. Lots of room for them to fly around. Up and up and down. So with some elevation instead of just, like, straight across. And this is, like, crazy. I mean, I just, I, I saved this just because it had a, a kind of a loft with the concrete floors and stuff, but... This is a barn dominium, I think, actually, because it has it has the ducks up here like that, if I remember correctly. Here again, there's like the courtyard with the stairway and stuff. I just saved some of these because it had a similar vibe to what I was kind of feeling. Uh, I wouldn't have wood floors and stuff like this, though, or anything wood on the wall. It would be concrete, concrete floors with, uh, just, you know very very basic minimalist basic type of stuff and i have stuff saved of enclosures as well just to, just something to like provide to the uh floor planning contractor stuff so they kind of know know kind of what i'm aiming for because i can't really uh i don't know it's just hard to describe ideas to people sometimes it's easier just to show them an image Sometimes people just can't picture things in their head as well from descriptions, I guess. It's easier if you just show them an image. This is from the Toucan Rescue Ranch right here. And these are some of their enclosures that I just had saved. Just for inspiration there. Uh, what else? I wanted to see... Oh, here we go. This is somebody was talking about having the courtyard in the center like this. But the problem with that is that there is not a good airflow. And there's not really anything to fix purchase to either. Like this all glass. I guess you could put it in the ground, but. See, this is more like what I would want with all these kind of plants. So, and these are macaws, though, of course, but, but I, I did, I saved this because it had the, 
it had some good uh, foliage going on there and it was it was generally the about the same size of what I'm looking for uh, see here is another example of a uh, an aviary attached to the building so that's the only reason I saved it again aviary attached to the building so when I was like making that stuff outside earlier where you know I had it attached to the uh, part of the bird room this is kind of more what I had in mind here actually there was a, a video I saw recently a guy that has a rescue from a cause in Australia I have photos of it somewhere but he basically did the exact idea that I have that's another courtyard type thing problem is with a lot of these houses have a lot of like you know they're not one big box you know they're more these are way more expensive houses to build because these are like rich people houses I don't have rich people money unfortunately here's another loft so you know like I really like this a lot especially the little booze area right there But, you know, he has his computer up there and some music equipment and, you know. I love, I love the look of this. Very minimal looking. And the concrete floors. White walls. That's kind of what I was looking for there. So this is a really good example. So this is actually a toucan enclosure, I think. Well, it says Toko Toucan. I don't see it, though. But it's just another enclosure kind of attached to the building, so. Here's another example. This is all metal uh, structure. So this is kind of like what I'm aiming for. Probably something similar to this. I like that red house. Oh, here's the red house right here. Yeah. This is the house I've shown earlier. This was one I almost bought. And then this is what it looked like. So, and it was on an acre of property too. So it would have been really, it would have been really great to have, but alas, it did not happen. But we can find something similar or build something similar, hopefully. And it had concrete floors too. It was crazy. Oh, here's that uh, courtyard with the tropical plants again. Anyways. That's it. So. I'll probably just close this out. My plant person at all? I'm gonna have to. I know I'm gonna have to take care of them. Uh, plants living outside are a lot easier to take care of, though. I have I have you guys and the two cans. Life is the rich is my richness. That's very true. What we don't have in money, we have in heart. <laughs> That's all you really need though. I mean you do need to survive though to some extent. There's not a lot of happiness coming to the bank repossessing your house, that's for sure. You're coming from the bank repossessing your house. Oh man. Oh, I missed some comments here. Firebird9 says you can get a single slope barn dominium. And they sent $50. Thank you, Firebird. Sorry I missed that. Did I miss anything else? I was like in the zone. No, I think that's the only one I missed.
This is a plate build mountain toucan. What am I looking to move to? Um, I'm looking to move to uh, the Dallas area and my budget uh, as cheap as possible, but it's probably going to end up being around 170 or 180. I hope I can get get it for that or less. It'd be way easier if I didn't have to worry about the bird stuff. But I don't want to get a manufactured home. I don't really want to get blown away by a tornado. <laughs> I'd rather have something built into the, or built with a foundation and all that stuff. Your house hunting in Col for Colorado, or in Colorado and Illinois. My sister just moved to Colorado. Not too long ago. You don't want to get blown away? And we don't, there's too many tornadoes around here. Uh, what am I supposed to do with a... With a, um... A bunch of birds. That's what, like, a tornado comes, like, maybe you can go... It's easier to go take shelter by yourself. Even not in a manufacturer, like, uh, well... I mean, in a manufactured home, you're basically screwed. Or like a, a mobile home, I mean. I don't know if that's what you mean by manufactured. Pre-manufactured, -manuf pre I guess, is what you mean. And I, I assume that you mean like a, uh, a uh, mobile home. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to I want to have something where I can uh protect the birds easier and myself for that matter. Cuz I can't even in a normal house, I can't just run and grab especially Beatrix. <laughs> I I have like freaking I have nightmares that my house is on fire and I have to try to get Beatrix out of her cage <laughs> and put her somewhere where I can take her outside. <laughs> It'd be hard enough just to grab Rhea and Lalo. A Tupac is just right there next to me, and he doesn't put up any sort of fuss when I grab him, but... I mean, a nightmare trying to get Beatrix anywhere in an emergency situation. That's I like the idea of just having that big steel building, because... Uh, it it's, provides a, a lot of protection from from the what elements. You know, I mean tornadoes especially, and also hail. Like our our roof got just destroyed by hail last year, and, uh, and when I was looking into the metal structures, they just with they withstand the weather like way better, and they're they're energy efficient and cost efficient. You know, they don't look that pretty on the outside, but I don't care about that. Rebecca Lasik says, new sanctuary, are you excited? I am excited. I'm a little, I'm a little scared too, because uh, it's, a, it's a huge responsibility to pay for, pay for the stupid thing, but the hell was that? Did you just pull a feather out? And we can go back to uh, this now. Ooh. I can get a storm shelter built in my garage. Yeah, but um, I still have to move the birds even if I had a storm shelter. And 
that's uh, a lot, that's still more money to spend as well. Is Florida a possibility? Uh, Texas is better. It's closer to people I actually know. Florida would be, and well, and the vets there in Texas as well, and the cost of living and the. <clears throat> Cost of living is relatively low, and uh, Texas is just like, uh, it's getting really like popular for just uh, anything relating to production and stuff, which provides more opportunities for us, you know, for production's sake, so. And we can collaborate with maybe, uh, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Like TV stuff. Uh, I know my vet has a TV show and I've, they've expressed interest and in, obviously everything got canceled because of COVID, but um, my vet has a TV show on Disney Plus called uh, Lone Star Vet and they have expressed interest in having us on there. And just stuff like that is, and the, like the Dallas World Aquarium's there as well, which they have a lot of Toucan stuff. So, and they, they, like, they collaborate to some extent with Toucan Rescue Ranch and that sort of thing, so I think they do at least. I could be wrong about that, actually. I might be thinking of Emerald Forest, but there, there's a lot of opportunity for at the Dallas World Aquarium. If I need footage of another Toucan, I can just go and film it there, you know, so, and that sort of thing, or go take pictures there, whatever I need to do. There might be some opportunity I can present to them about, like, doing demonstrations with the birds or something at some point also. But, like, uh, I don't know. There's just a lot of, there's a lot more opportunity, I think, for us in Texas. Florida would have good weather for them, but it would be, I mean, very hot. It would be really humid for them, though, which would be good have the proper environment for them. Are you pulling off pin feathers? What is that you got? I don't know what he pulled off. I think he's pulling sheaths off his feathers. Are you dabbing on him? It's, e it's so much easier to stream from here because I can see the chat so easily. So that stuff with Disney Plus pay okay? I have no, I don't have any clue what they pay him. He's got itchy balls. <laughs> Will there be a murder shed 2.0? Um, I mean, I'll probably have a shed. It won't look like a murder shed though. The one here is run down because I don't use it for anything. I have some, there's some old furniture in there that from like when I lived in an apartment like years ago, like, man, it was like 2013 when I moved here. And then I got new furniture when I moved here. So, uh, there's, and there's some old terrariums from snakes and stuff I've had in the past and stuff like that. That's all that's really out there though. There's nothing, nothing really of value out there. Everything needs to be trashed. Did you pull out a feather? Can I see it? Oh, you broke part of your feather. You want to play with it? There you go. You want it? All right. You don't. You don't have to have it then. If you don't want it. And there's yeah there's four there's forty rusty chainsaws in there stacked to the ceiling. TV, TV filming in Los Colinas. I stay in uh, Los Colinas when uh, I go to the vet. Just off of Los Colinas Boulevard.
Yeah, there's there. I don't know. There's just a. It seems like everybody in California is like having an exodus to Texas. So I'm. It seems like a good idea to try to get in there. Because even Austin and and stuff is within dry, like reasonable distance of a drive. And there's a lot of a lot of popping things going off in Austin and Dallas and Houston. So. And they're they're building a, a train like from Houston to Dallas at some point where it like I think it's or it's a bullet train or something. And you can get from Houston to Dallas in like forty minutes on it. And vice versa. Does Tupac want my Coke bottle? He likes the cap, I think. Sometimes I'll actually play with the cap. I don't know where Lalo carried it off to, though. And and Texas is uh, still within a, a good, a reasonable distance to each side of my family too. My dad's side of the family still lives in Oklahoma. Uh, my dad lives in Houston, and then my grandparents and my mom live here. So, and and Dallas is. Uh, in between all that like exactly although we won't we won't be directly in the Dallas city because there's no like property that we could live out on uh, not any of it's cheap at least you know because we need like an acre at least or something around there and Houston floods too that's a good point Houston does flood, but Dallas gets Dallas gets tornadoes. So pick your poison. <laughs> I'd like to live in like the very south of Texas, but there's just nothing really going on down there. I have a friend that lives down there, but I'd like to live there because it's closer to their natural environment outside. You know, it's closer to Mexico. I mean, it's like right on Mexico, and Mexico is close to Central America, and Central America is close to South America, so there you go. It's basically like Brazil there. May as well be Brazil down in South Texas. <laughs> but it's got a, it's got a high humidity though and stuff, so that's always good, for them at least. Most people don't like high humidity. I don't really particularly like it, but it's good for the birds, and generally it's good for us too, I think. Good for the skin, and I know it's good for the inside of your nose because mine dries out and starts bleeding when I go through the desert. A lot of fire ants. I think I'll. I think I'll survive the fire ants though. I could live in Australia and, and be attacked by everything at all times. I mean, you couldn't even have two cans in Australia because they have strict exotic laws. I think on importation and stuff. Kill, keep a, I was thinking about a built-in humidifier for the house, yeah. I have one here in their room. Uh, I have a humidifier and an air purifier back in their room. And a heater. Separate heater. So. But I've seen like... Uh, I've seen where they've done like industrial humidifiers and air purifiers that like go in the ceiling which might be really cool to have in there does it clog a lot the humidifier not not so far it hasn't clogged i had an old one that did though lalo and ria are in bed they are asleep New Zealand would be pretty, yeah, New Zealand would be awesome to live in, but, and I love, I've always wanted to visit both New Zealand and Australia, at least visit. I wanted to live there when I was a kid, but like, 
it's just, I mean, I'd consider living there now if I could take the birds with me, but it's just not possible, unfortunately. I wish it was. But there's not any toucans there that need help either. They're all here. <laughs> Might be able to find some in, like, uh, you know, some parts of Asia or Europe because there's a lot of parts that don't have importation restrictions. So there's just freaking, they just import a bunch of birds and stuff all the time. Uh, I think toucans are more common over there actually than here. I think the majority of them are wild though, wild caught. Oh man. I guess we're gonna call it a day or a night at this point. It's been five hours. I'm starting to get tired actually. Don't be mad at me for yawning. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. It means I'm trying to stay awake. <laughs> This is easier to, it's easier to stream here though than it is in the living room because I can see the chat like way easier. Sharon Zoo channel? I don't know what that is actually. I don't really watch a lot of animal channels, actually. Like, I, uh... I just... I, I'm, I don't know. Like, I just kind of... I watch YouTube a lot, but... My, my videos are probably more influenced by uh, other channels... Channels that aren't animal-related, because I don't ever watch other animal channels that much. I watch bird tricks sometimes. Just because uh, I know Jamie all right. I think we'll do we'll probably do some sort of collaboration after I move. Seems like they've been wanting to do one for a while, but Tupac's doing his nightly preening. Aren't you, buddy? You want some pets? No. No pets. You don't want any? You wanna go to sleep? You gonna poop up? You ready to go to sleep? <laughs> you clack that thing so freaking loud. Sometimes in the middle of the night I'll just hear him preening his feathers in the dark and all I hear is that. <laughs> it's like clack, 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 clack. Europe is almost free of natural disasters, except uh, the weather is always like depressing. And, and well, at least it is in London from what I've heard, or England. Do I plan on doing more bird puzzles? Probably in the future, yeah. They don't seem to be that interested in them though, is the thing. I'd love to see Rocco with the can. I don't know if the Rocco and and my birds could probably they probably couldn't interact because they'd probably try to kill each other off the bat. <laughs> Unfortunately, they need some they need some warm up time before they before they have uh are introduced to each other. You know, like with Rhea and Lalo, I'm I let I I kept them near each other for quite a while before I actually let them interact so they kind of got used to seeing each other now Rocco's a toko also and tokos are and tokos are usually more aggressive who she has lung lung issues is that uh the zoo channel you're talking about I forgot what it's called now. I'm trying to look. 
Sharon, Sharon Zoo Channel. All the animal channels, they all have uh, people with health issues running them. <laughs> Including me. That's why I said that. Does Tupac ever try to preen my beard? No. Tupac doesn't ever... Well, he, sometimes he kind of picks at my hair. But Lalo's been pulling my hair lately and it hurts. Like he pulls my hair out. And uh, Maeve would preen my beard hair. Rhea will preen my hair sometimes. Toucans don't really preen that much. Or to preen each other, I mean. As much. They have different feathers that don't need, like their down doesn't need preened as much. It's like a parrot. I have uh, videos of them trying to groom me. I've done a few before. But I think it was mainly either, it was probably Ripley and Maeve. They have, a, they have a long neck. They can, I mean, Tupac's doing a pretty good job printing himself right now. Can you print yourself? Make sure you get all those feathers. He's like, all right, buddy, whatever you say. <laughs> I don't know. They they always rub their head on their wing, and I think it's I think I guess they put the the uh, uh, preening oil. I forget what the specific term for it is. They have a gland, you know, that produces oil, and they put that on their feathers. I think that they put that oil on their wing and then rub it on their head when they do that to get their head feathers. But I'm not sure. See, I'm doing that. Why do you do that? Can you tell me why? I'm doing the other side now. She was having problems breathing and the doctor suggested giving up the bird. What kind of bird is it? I'm guessing probably a cockatoo with the powder. Well we have, we have natural body oils. Our skin just secretes it rather than having a gland for it. Let me get oily. I'm going to clean the oil off, though, <laughs> instead of putting it on. Having fun there? You going to pull, that, pull the sheath off? Uh, he's got some new feathers growing on his tail. I think he's trying to pull the sheath off. Make your sh feathers all shiny now. Shiny boy. Alright, I guess we should probably wrap it up here. How do I make him click? No, oh, he's not going to click right now. You know, click for us? There you go. Every time I look at him, he's probably like, why are you watching me, weirdo? I'm watching me groom myself like a freaking weirdo. All right, well, it was fun, guys.
I actually caught him. Jeez. You alright? I don't know how my spider sense went off like that and I caught him. <laughs> Anybody else see that? I'm trying to wait to see the uh, probably stream's probably a minute or so behind or something. Sorry guys, if you were trying to get sleepy and that woke you up. My dad instincts kicked in. Yeah, he always falls. I've noticed that every time he falls, it's he's trying to preen himself. He'll fall in the middle of the night sometimes and you know, I have to I have a pillow under his under his perch in case he falls <laughs> so that he lands on the pillow. I have to go put him back. It wakes me up. I have to go put him put him back up. Your legs are stiff, aren't they? It sucks. I'm sorry, man. We still love you, though. You know? Yeah, we, we still love you, even though you're crippled. And you fall off your perch like a weirdo. Don't fall off again. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll put some, uh, actually I've been trying to look into, I need to ask my vet again, um, if I can put some, like, CBD lotion on his legs to help him out. There you go, guys, here's your Tupac video, everyone's always like, why don't you do a video with Tupac? There you go. It was like it was like a good two hours of just Tupac and I. Ooh, excuse me. What do the legs feel like? They feel like scaly legs. His heart is not crippled. No, but my heart is crippled. <laughs> Would he sit on a heated towel? No, he won't sit. I tried. I tried to get him to sleep in a... a a little like on a t like I had a little uh, cat litter box with the towel on the bottom, and I tried to I tried to get him to sleep on some towels because I kept worrying he was gonna fall in the middle of the night, and he just he tries to find the nearest place to jump up onto, no matter what I do, so he won't stay on on the towel or on the floor. What does their bill feel like? Feel, feel your fingernail. That's what it feels like. It's the same same material. It feels like a smooth plastic fiberglass type texture. It's like a turtle shell almost. Not, I mean, the turtle shell is bumpy because it has different scoots, but... Or whatever. What, is that what they're called? Scoots? On the shell? You got some, you got some papaya here. Well, I'm just getting the papaya, calm down. Jeez. Just trying to help you out, dude. You can't scratch it off yourself. I don't want your beak looking like it did when I found you. <laughs> Make him 3D printed stairs or a lot. He won't go upstairs or, he won't do that. He won't do that stuff.
appreciate you guys. You guys have very kind things to say sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out too because I need to take a shower and probably eat something before I go to sleep. But it was fun. <sighs> I need to set up something where I can just stream like from my computer here because it's so much easier to read everything like it's easier to interact with you guys so much easier when uh, I can see the chat here like I can't I can't really see it very well on on the TV I, I try to I try to project it over the TV uh, and but I usually have to read it on my phone and it's like you know just I'm looking at my phone the entire time and nobody wants to see that so you know, I don't know, this is just way easier to interact with everybody. Alright guys, I will see you next week. We'll have, I had filmed a video earlier this week, but um, I, I forgot to edit it and put it out. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't forget. Um, what happened? Something happened where I was going to do it and then... I don't, I don't remember what it was, but t tomorrow is supposed to be almost 70 degrees, so I'm probably going to put Beatrix outside and try to film a video with her, so I'll see you guys next week, or this, I guess it's this week, since it's Sunday, but I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you then, so good night everybody, everybody sleep well, uh, where is... Oh, it's at the bottom here. I couldn't find the end stream button. Alright, see you guys.